Hey guys, John the Billionaire Bellavia here, and this is Life of a Billionaire. Uh, today's guest is a little, uh, a little, a little surprise. Uh, it's Alicia Frawley, and she's with Pure Romance. And to show you what that looks like, check that out right there. How you doing, Alicia? Good. How are you? Oh, this is going to be a fun episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we have like e either this is a, a drunken fun night in front of us, or you're actually in a profession here somewhere, or is this like just what you carry on vacation with you? This is actually both. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do this on a profession on the side. Um, this is my side business. I'm employed full time, um, but yeah. This looks it's like uh, a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so you sell basically adult toys and romance type products. Correct. So how long have you been doing this? I've been doing it just over a year now. And uh, it's been doing pretty good for you? Yeah. I mean, I see like all over social media how popular it's gotten with you. Yeah. And uh, the perks of the job are you get like discounts on your own toys? Oh, yeah. I get, <laughs> I get an automatic 50% off of everything. Really? And you so. probably have uh, one just of everything. everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, I'm assuming these are demonstration and not out of your personal box, right? This is not No pun personal, intended. No. <laughs> Not from my personal box, I swear. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I want to start with uh, the most common thing that people think of when it's uh, when they're thinking of a sex toy okay. is the dildo. Yes. What style is probably your most popular style? Um, the most popular style would be Mr. Dependable. Mr. He's Dependable. He's a suction cup. He don't go anywhere. Yeah, that thing, uh, I feel like I want to put that in the hood of my truck and just drive around you with could. it. You could. You could. It <laughs> takes the sheetrock off of people's walls. No kidding. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, so now, I, here's my big question, man. It always bugs me. I don't mind the dildo. It's the balls. The balls. Yeah. Now, like, as a guy, I don't mind my girl having a dildo. She's got plenty of them I bought in from for. We've used them together, as, you know, in sexual reasons, whatever. I just can't deal with the balls. I don't, especially not one of the bigger balls than mine. Yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to mimic the real thing. Um, that way girls are more comfortable using it. They feel that slap. Yeah. I I think it's more of a stopper, so the whole thing don't get lost sometimes. That's a good point. So, you don't have to fish it out. Yes. Uh, that's yeah. a very smart uh, smart angle there, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's now, it's, what's something like this basically run? Um, this one, it, it runs just a little over $30. That's it? That's it. Wow, I can afford to tell someone to go fuck themselves. Yeah, literally. <laughs> literally. So what are the different stages of uh, oh, dildo? Is that the proper term? Um, yes, this is a silicone dildo. Okay, so what are the different kinds that you uh, would actually carry? I mean, there's, I know there's millions of styles. Oh, um, yeah. And um, I know you're, the company you go with specifically offers an array of what they think is the good to go. Right. Um, we try to hit every aspect, vaginal, clitoral, G-spot. Um, we've got the double header for lesbians. Does it, why has it got to be lesbians? I, I mean, it could be. It could be straight couples. Um, the only thing that worries me about this is there's no stopper. So, like, if a female, like, moves away, your other partner gets the majority of it. Well, that's just so. a greedy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> that scares me, though. Like, what if... There is no know. center, but, I mean, I think some <laughs> girls can probably take more than other they girls. They can take the whole thing, some of them. Wow. I swear. And I thought I was well endowed. <laughs> you just totally made me rethink my entire life. <laughs> um... And then, of course, we've got the weighted G-spot with clitoral. It vibrates. It's rechargeable, water submersible. So you just charge it next to your phone at night? Yeah, USB port. Really? Yes. That's yep. very cool. Now, you said it's weighted. What does that mean? Um, this is made of glass. It's weighted to put more pressure on the G-spot. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, yeah. It vibrates. It vibrates. That um, looks like and vaginal with the something they found on like an Area 51 plane crash. Yeah. Like, it's very futuristic looking. Like I look like I could play Wii with that. <laughs> I, I would picture this in like a porno of Disney. Like yes, yes. Frozen, frozen. <laughs> Do they sponsor this or maybe we'll get them as a sponsor? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, we've, all, we've also got Main Attraction. This is one of my number one top sellers as well. Whoa, um, look at that little guy that. go. Yeah. Can you, you can see that, right? Let me, let me get that in my hand here for a minute. And I don't know. if It's like a freaking hummingbird. <laughs> yeah. <Brrr. laughs> <laughs> that one just looks cool too, and that's the X that's actually really fast. Yes, it also is twenty four karat gold plated. Nice. Rechargeable, water submersible. This so is actually the shape of the vaginal walls when a girl is aroused. Oh, I get you because it because like it does puff penis. down. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Wow. Now this is twenty four karat gold. So if your old lady pisses you off, you can scrap it at the pawn shop. Yeah. <laughs> you could. You could. 
good. Yeah. I'm sure she would be a little upset. Well, that's divorce, uh, cause for divorce. Yeah. My girlfriend now uh, was telling me how, like, not too long ago, her uh, ex-roommate stole her vibrating dildo with the bunny ears thingy. And I was like, first of all, why would she steal it? And second of all, uh, like, why would she use it? Yeah. But she did. She took it just because she wanted it and could probably couldn't afford her own. And I'm just thinking, man, like, is this going to be like a huge thing? People are breaking and entering just to grab the dongs. Yeah, I, I seen a video on YouTube that was on Facebook, and it was a guy that broke into a car. He thought he was getting into a briefcase full of money or drugs, and it was. And he a stole a billionaire stash. Fuck, yeah. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's the price range on those two? Because I assume they get a little bit more expensive. One hundred and eighty-nine dollars get... for both of them. Yeah, yeah. Each one. This one, and then this one's one hundred and thirty. I mean, but the problem—they're not, not the problem. The thing is, it's—I'm sure it's worth it. Uh, there's so oh, yeah. much cheap fake stuff on the internet, and it. Right. I used to be uh, part owners in an adult store, head store type thing, and a lot of that stuff is more of a novelty that doesn't last. Yeah. You know, you may get it for eighty dollars, but it's not going to last you six months. No. Not and and that's the big thing that tricks people. Um, they can be like, oh, I can just get it online. I get it on Amazon or whatever. But you don't know what you're really getting right? when you're not going through a specific company that specializes in it. Right. And these are um, the $189 toys are made of food-grade silicone um, mm-hmm. to protect the toys. That way no live bacteria can live on it. Um, you can actually eat off of them if you want. I mean, I mean that would make for a fun a video to eat off of. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's my mouth's been in worse places, you know. <laughs> I'm sure all of ours have. Yeah. <laughs> like, only in America will you not drink after your child or eat after your child, but you'll lick somebody's asshole. Well, I tell my girl that all the time. She tried using my toothbrush once, and I was like, don't touch my toothbrush. That'll disgust me. She's like, you literally spent the night eating my ass. Right. But that's different. <laughs> it's totally different. <laughs> um, now... For cleaning of this stuff, because I, I mean, I always just assume you just wash it in, in dishwasher or soap and water. Uh, I no, mean, I have if, no idea. If you wash these with soap, what I tell everybody is go ahead and look at your shower. Um, there's soap scum. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Even though you think you get all the soap off of it, um, there's still soap scum there. So you don't want to put that in your pussy. You don't. Like, sure. that's gross. You're going to get some weird bacteria. have to go to the doctors. We do offer a cleaning product. It's called Come Clean. Uh, uh, C-O-M clean? Yeah. Love no, it. C-O-M-E. Oh, we try see? to make it a little clean. Trying to be classy. <laughs> yeah. When something that goes up your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Do you have that? Th- do any of that hair by any chance? Yes, I do. Because that's something, like I said, I I mean, I've, I know the glass stuff you could uh, yep. clean a little easier, but can you see that? Yeah, we can see that on the screen pretty well. Actually, I'll put it on, uh, here, put it in that camera right there. Yeah, we can see that. Perfect. Um, now what's a bottle like that? You're good. You can put it down now. <laughs> I should have just, I probably could have left just doing that for like five I minutes. I know, you probably could have. <laughs> um, we have small bottles and then we have the larger bottle. That is the larger bottle. It, it goes for $18. So like one would be on your end stand, the other one can go on your travel bag. Right. Yes. Um, yep. now let me ask you a question. Do any of these plug into a cigarette lighter? Yes. Because the USB port. here's, okay. So here's a funny story. Years ago, and I'm not going to say the company went through, but we, uh, when you buy a certain amount of stuff, they'd send you giveaways to give to your... I mean, this was more like adult videos and stuff, a little different, but they would give you like things to give away at your store. Right. And I got a box of 40 rabbits that were hardwired to a cigarette lighter plug. And oh. I had a hard time... I was trying to sell them because I was trying to make some money off it. And uh, I had a hard time even giving them away because everyone's like, what do you, I don't have a port at my house. And I'm just thinking of how fucked up the traffic's going to be the next morning when... I mean, listen, I've... I'm going to act like I've given a girl an orgasm and I seen the way they <laughs> act and it's uh they're going to crash. Yeah, yeah. And it was to me it was just one of the funniest perks I think I've ever gotten on uh, an order. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Um I have this in my glove box. No, what is that? Oh, is that for the finger? Yes, it's it's called Premier. Um it's just a clitoral stimulator. It does vibrate. It's got the 10 different speeds. It's rechargeable. So this just 10 different speeds. Yes. Holy Now let me ask you a question. Do you like it really fast or slow or pulsating? What's your your go-to? Medium speed. Medium, not yes. too rough? Not too rough. Or I'm just going to go through the roof and it's... Literally. Yeah, literally. <laughs> literally. Um, the, literally. Pulsating ups, the pulsating upsets me because then I, like, I'm right there and, and, then then it, it, and then it wants to stop or pause. Oh. So then it makes me mad. And I'm the like, worst just, thing that happens, I used to have a bit that was a true story that, you know, when you're watching uh, porn on television and uh, I, you know, I get to the point where... Uh, I'm about to climax, and then I'm right there. I'm right there. It freezes. It buffers, and it's on the dude's face, and I'm ready to go. And I'm just like, no, no, like, no, oh, no. And I'm trying face. to, I'm, I'm trying to hold it back just enough, but right. you know, it still felt great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> so what else do we have as far as uh, like the clitoris, you know, uh, that kind of stimulation area? Um, so we still have a whole bunch of cool stuff yes, over here. We have Boost, which is um, an enhancement cream. You just put a small pea size on the clit. Um, it automatically gets to your girl in the mood. You just have to use that much. Not much at all. If I warn everybody, if you get this, do not go home alone with it because you're going to end up pumping doorknobs. Really? Like, it is instant. 30 seconds is all it takes. Take my credit card now. I do take credit cards. Add a girl. <laughs> <laughs> you take it over the phone and in person? Yes. Yep. I do gotcha. have the square that you can just slide your credit card rate right in front of me. How does even that sound sexual? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> slide anything. Yes. <laughs> the old stripper joke. You don't yeah. have cash. Let me slide it across the ass. Yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um let's see what else now what are these this is big ass box sitting here in front of me and i'm really curious it looks like something you get at christmas like a gift set yes it this is our new line it's the clipso line the clipso yes. remember you gotta get right on that microphone because i won't hear you from that far away okay the first one is a clitoral stimulator they come in little boxes Oh, chargers. it looks cool as shit. It looks like a yeah. mouse, like a right. computer mouse. Right. And it does vibrate. It oh. has the different speeds. I think it looks like it's going to jump out of your hand. Yeah. <laughs> right? That is very cool. Let me throw it on that one screen for about 10 seconds. You guys can see that. It looks like uh, it's literally going to hop out of her hand. All right. Um, <laughs> now, that's very cool. It's very small. Yes. And that's also a USB? Yes. Now, is there USB. like a rubber seal or something that goes in the USB hole? So it, it doesn't. So it's, it's just a little pinhole. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's put it there. There's just a little pinhole. Oh, okay. That you just stick the port right in. Now would that be still? Now is that waterproof? Yes, waterproof. Because water that's kind of where I was getting. Yes. I, yep. I know a lot of uh, ladies like to take baths with it, or oh, yeah. not to mention there's squirters and there's people oh, that get really wet and yeah. lubricants, and I'd hate to see them sh uh, like shock out in the middle. No, no. Like back in the <laughs> '70s when they used to get electrocuted right? to the wall units. Yeah. You cannot bring them in the. You can't play with them when they're charging, though. Oh, when that makes charging, sense because it's got can't. a direct hookup. Yeah, right. yeah. You can't. It does have the safety feature. Man, these things just look cool. Yes. Like I look like I'd like to play swords with that later. <laughs> this one is. Wow, that it yeah. is literally. Let me put that on that camera. See how close we can. Get. Wow, look at that. It is. And uh, that's a slow speed. Jeez. That's a slow speed. That's freaking Wait, awesome. You want me to set it on the table? Yes, let's uh <laughs> let's do that and see how it bounces around. <laughs> it's literally yeah. getting away from you. <laughs> it's like pony rides. Right. <laughs> and like I said, that's one of the slow speeds. Oh my god, that is pretty cool. <laughs> and all of our toys have the safety feature, which I call it. Um you have to press and hold the button to turn it off. Oh. That way you're not in the middle of an orgasm. I accidentally hit the button and you're like, oh, So, fuck. like, oh, my God. Like, what if you, <laughs> what if your hands were too lubricated and you couldn't get shut off and you're past orgasm? Just keep uh, going? Just keep going. See, women are Fight lucky, man, it. because women can go. I've had girlfriends that can go multiple times on a toy. Literally makes me jealous as fuck because I already came when she started. Yep. And uh, I got to wait there for half an hour to start up again. Right. Man, I yeah. really put myself down in these videos, don't I? <laughs> Jeez. So that is very cool. Did we miss one, or is it just... It's just like the other one, but without the clitoral stimulator. Oh, we don't want that shit. Yeah, no, that's kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> so what else do you want to show me? You have so, just so many different cool things here. I do. Um, speaking about the squirting, we have a spray that's called Between the Sheets. Between the Sheets, you just spray this on the wet spot on the bed. It soaks it right up. I'm going to have to seriously, uh, we're going to have to work something out here because I'm. I, there's so many cool things I need to pick up uh, just to surprise my girl. I hope she's not watching this live. Thank God she's at work. Okay. Yeah, she'll see um, it afterwards. Now now the problem is going to be is someone's watching it and they're going to tell her and she's going to expect me to have a list of stuff list I already of ordered for her. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but you can use that. We can use this for. Uh, so that's for sweat. after the cleaning afterwards. Yeah. And what's yep. it do exactly? Um, it's a talk powder spray. It turns into a talk powder. Oh, so it absorbs it. it. Yes. That's yep. cool. Um, women can use it on their bras for boob sweat in the summer. Yeah. Chub rub between the legs. Sure. Bass. I used um, to. I used to have this trick, uh, and I don't mean the girl. She wasn't a trick. But I used <laughs> to have this trick when I, I had this one girlfriend that uh, I was out of town with all the time. When it, like I traveled a little bit. And uh, I would get a hotel room with two beds because the sh she would literally soak the whole fucking bed. And yeah. nobody wants to sleep in the wet spot, no, especially when the size of the bed. Right. Yeah. So if I would have just brought this stuff, I could have saved money and got oh, a yeah. single room. Yeah. Look it, at the money I could have saved on hotel rooms back when I was a man whore. <laughs> between the sheets. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
<laughs> for the girls that can't get wet, we got Just Like Me. It's a natural self-lubrication. Um, all the females, they know what I'm talking about when I say this. You go to the doctors, they use the lube. Uh, mm. It's a surgical lube. It blocks the natural secretions from coming out. This actually pulls the natural secretions out. Oh, okay. So, and it's reactivating. So if you stop, if you if you have sex, you finish, you clean up, and then two hours later, you, you want to keep going, just lick your fingers, just touch yourself, and you're good to go. Really? Yep. Put it on before the bar, so you don't. Yeah, that's what I was vagina. thinking. Yeah. <laughs> or or like when you first wake up in the morning, a lot of girls, they, especially if you go out drinking, you're a little right. dried up, yep. and it's hard to. Guys get whiskey dick. We get caught in vagina. It yeah. Happens. Well, speaking of that, I drink whiskey a lot. You got anything for me? <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Oh, which is the intensifier of this, uh-huh. works for both men and women. Now, how does that work? You still just apply it? Just a, just apply just a small little bit around the crown of the penis and on the head of the penis. and Really? Yes, within 30 seconds. I mean, I can start drinking again. Yes. I missed being an yes. alcoholic, but it was one or the other, you know? Right. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm looking at this lipstick thing. This is Peter Lipstick. This is what I give away at some of my parties. So it's real lipstick. It's real lipstick. You can wear it. But he's and got the coolest little penis head. Here, let's get it in that other camera angle, right on that camera. Maybe a little, yep, look at that. Turn it a little bit. I want everyone to see how perverted we are. <laughs> now, does it come in? You're, you're good. It is comes it? in different shades. Okay, because yep. that's the one There's thing. There's uh, different shades. Now, that'd, that'd be great for, uh, like, bachelorette parties. Right. Um, Which is what I do a lot of. Sweet 16s, you know, all that. Uh, not not 16. I can't sell sex toys to minors. I'm only you joking. Have to be 18 or older, I'm please. absolutely <laughs> joking. I'm just thinking of that weirdo mom yeah. that wants to surprise oh, yeah. her daughter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. sweet 18s. Let's change that to 18. Yes. Because yeah, you do have to be 18 years you old to, to stick 18. something legally in your ass. Really? No, I don't think you're allowed to stick certain stuff up your ass in certain states. Isn't that against the law? It is. And there, there's one state it's against the law to have sex with the lights on. Yes. Yeah. There's so many weird uh, facts that, like, I think it's the smaller towns come up with this weird shit to get around certain rules. But then it becomes an actual law. Probably one they don't really enforce. Right. But, I mean, if they really wanted to fuck with you, they can because it gives oh, yeah. them a reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't imagine not having sex with the lights on. I mean, I like the lights off, but I like to see what I'm working with sometimes as right. well. I mean, I'm, especially I, if you go out to the bar and break Apparently, I'm a little bit of a freak because I leave the lights on. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's that's sure why Motel 6 came with that because, you know, you can leave the lights on until you get there. Then we got to shut them shits oh, off yeah. to keep it legal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else you got for me? I'm just, it's there's so much in front of my plate, literally, that I don't even know where to start. Um, is this like a kaleidoscope? Do you look like. The, Let's see if I can get your face in there. Uh, I really suck at this. There you are. <laughs> um, that is a pocket it's pussy. A, it's a stress releaser? Oh, it's a what? It's a pocket pussy. My penis is not going to fit in there. Yes, it will. Really? Yes. It's the challenge. You guys ready for this? <laughs> I can actually demonstrate on Mr. Yes. Oh, I got to see this. <laughs> All right. I do these demonstrations at parties. Um, you have to like spit on it first? Or? No, I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> Oh, I forgot. <laughs> but you can lick that out, but you just yeah, don't spit just, on it. Just don't spit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a pocket pussy. It's called Playmate. It's reversible, so it's got nubs on the inside what the as fuck? well. That looks it's like something ended. that we found in the Amazon <laughs> or like in the water. It's like a jellyfish cousin. Yeah, I call it the beer can. Oh, yeah. A lot of guys would rather go fetch beer than a pocket pussy. So well, it's like go, yeah, go, go either way. Your, <laughs> go get your beer. Um, Whipped is our flavored lubricant. Um, all you do is you squirt a little bit of this inside of it. Did you have them in stock with you today? We do, yeah. Like right now on you? Yes, okay. yes. No reason why I asked. <laughs> and then you, all you have to do is slide it on Mr. Dependable, which I'm using, but you could slide it on yourself. It's a masturbation sleeve. You just go up and down with it. Also, the good thing about this is it also creates a sucking motion. If you pull this up over the head of the penis, hold on the shaft, and pull up on it. Holy fuck. Yes. It creates a sucking motion. Go ahead and blow your load in there and then just slowly let go. If you let go of this really fast, it's going to go shooting across the room. That's hilarious. <laughs> I almost want to do a video. <laughs> so if you let go slowly, grasp the bottom, and then pull up, it actually all gets sucked right in. Kind of cleans itself up. It does. This is the fir- po- first podcast I can admit I'm totally aroused right now, and it's okay <laughs> this time. Any other time I get it's yelled at. It's okay-ish. There's a, there's a gray line there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is pretty cool. And what, how do you wash that same all stuff? Got, all you got to do is put the hose on one end, slurp yep, it out, flip it right inside out, which you can see. That Looks like a yamaka. Oh. And then just use the come clean and clean it right out. 
That is very cool. How, just for no specific reason, how much does something like that cost? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Let me see what I got on me. <laughs> um, <laughs> now that is very cool. Do you have any other products that you brought that another that a guy could use as well? Of course. Um, what are you doing with that? I. Oh, I thought you meant that was. The oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not knocking it, fellas. No. Um, this is a cock ring. Mm -hmm. um, you could put a bullet inside of here. Go ahead and put this over the shaft of your penis. The good thing about this, if you notice that it has the two rings, this actually goes around the testicles. Now, I like that because it kind of holds everything together. Yes. And it probably, so now what most people don't realize, a cock ring basically kind of keeps you there, keeps the blood flow to one area. Right. Uh, does it do more by holding the balls? Like I've got the, I've got, I've got some leather ones that do the same thing. And they personally, I think, keep hold everything even longer. So I've yes. gotten to the point where it like. Constricts it, constricts yeah. it more. Yep. Um, also with that, it also puts pressure. Because the male's G spot is actually in his ass. Sure, sure. The, uh, the prostate. prostate. Yeah, yes. everyone loves a good milking. Right. So, <laughs> so this actually puts pressure on it. Um, and then with the vibration, if you put a bullet in here and it vibrates, mm -hmm. this actually tickles the clit for the female, gives her clitoral stimulation, and then it also gives you stimul stimulation with the vibration around here. Gotcha. That's very cool. Now let's see. So that's same material as all the other stuff. Yeah. Easy to clean. Yep. Uh, the bullet. I'm assuming it's like the egg bullet that you can just right. remove. Right. Yep. And then. Um, also, with these toys, you never want to store them in the same spot. You always want to store them separately because toys do melt together. Oh, so that's is that how the double-ended dong over there happened? I don't know. I think they, <laughs> I think they purposely made that. But, oh, I thought it was just um, a defect that I you mean, had a fun time with. <laughs> but they that do makes, melt together. So, now, would you recommend putting them in, like, a sleeve or, like, a wax bag or any – is there we, any kind of – We do carry bags that are – Try to get a little closer to that mic. I, I hate to see it not getting <laughs> – Make sure people actually hear you. We do sell totes that are called toy totes. Mm -hmm. um, they're just like a little pink bag. Um, you can go ahead and stick a dirty toy in there. And when you close until it off, it, to... it, it actually kills the bacteria on the toy oh, until you get to washing it. That's very cool. But make sure you wash the bag before you stick a clean toy in there. Yeah, because that just be, wouldn't make any sense. It would be sense. pointless, right. And the bag's just something you can literally wash. Just yeah, yep, just wash it right in the washer machine. Very cool, very cool. I want to talk about that double ender. <laughs> I don't know why I'm drawn to it. It's really awkward. Now, it, it does, I'm assuming it comes in black, right? Realistic shit? No. Really? No, just just pink. <laughs> just pink. Just pink. I'm sure you can... Not paint it. Yeah, no, don't paint We're it. We're stuck with pink. Put black condoms right. on it for you the go. ladies Perfect. that enjoy the uh, the black condoms. Right. Yeah, that's where, as far as I'm going to go with that. So, I'm assuming this could be used for both vaginal and anal, or... Um, you could. Um, it Whoops. Kinda, he got away yeah. from you. You could probably go double ender in yourself with it too. Right, you could put a string in the middle, pull it back out just in case. <laughs> like you're flossing. Your yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you could. No, um, um, I mean I can imagine for lesbian sex that would probably make uh, for like what the scissor move or back the to scissor, back. Scissor, yes. Scissor probably yes. more than anything. Yes, very popular. Really? Now you sell a ton of these. I've actually sold probably about thirty of these since I've started. So in one year, you've sold thirty. Yeah. So that's what three uh, a month, um, roughly. Yeah. Two, wow. two, two, two and a half. Yep. Well, not cutting it in half, so they're doing <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, that would be a great way to save money, though. <laughs> just right. cut it in half and split it with a friend. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could do that. <laughs> or you could just make it interesting and invite your friend over. Give her a couple drinks. And I like the way this goes. is going. Um, I'm going to bite my friend Todd over. Fuck. There you go. Uh, Perfect. <laughs> it, it makes me wonder where like some of this stuff comes from, because there's just so much that... Uh, that comes to my mind, literally comes to my mind when I see stuff like this. Like, was it a mistake that it happened, or did someone have a special request? This stuff's been around for, believe it or not, I believe it's like hundreds of years that there's been uh, adult toys out there. Right. And uh, actually, let me see. I got some cool facts that I kind of wanted to go over with you, and then we'll get back to some more toys. Um, let's see, just a few things. Uh, da, 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 da. So the percent of uh, adults globally who use sex toys, uh, what do you think that percentage would be? I would have to say 78%. No, but that that's what I thought. Uh, there's only 23% of people use uh, wow. adult toys right now, which is crazy to me because there's 15 billion jajillion right. toys sold a year. Um, and again, I'm getting this from Altnet, Alternet, uh, okay. which I fact checked with them, make sure they weren't like fake facts. Like, right. you know, 173% of Americans. Um, <laughs> Uh, let's see. So, and, and honestly, I think these were more like people reported to like a site 
So not right. everybody, you know, yeah. not everybody. Some people won't feel you comfortable. Gotta, yeah, you got to take this with a grain. Some people don't have internet. Some people are scared of their privacy and all that. But a uh, percentage of adults who reportedly who reported kinky play, including using masks, blindfolds, and bondage. Oh well, I'm in on that percentage, so I'm I'm gonna say thirteen percent. And on that, we got twenty percent of people. Hmm. Yeah, we're we're getting up here. I'm actually into that too. I'm I'm a bit of a freak, and by freak, I mean I can do missionary like crazy. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Percentage of men who have reported using a vibrator themselves. Probably not many. Um. Seven percent. Twenty percent. I'm seeing a pattern here. Yeah. Now, with sex play, I've taken a vibrator and put it on my dick, and it feels wonderful when she's, you know, doing her thing. So right. I'm, I, I, I know a lot of guys that probably put this in probably assume they meant other stuff. So it could have been. Yeah. In general, maybe maybe that kind of influenced the uh, the percentage a little bit there. Um, percentage of women of ages 18 to 60 who have used sex toys. I'm going to say 60%. 44%. They must have like went to a retirement home and got these facts because uh, I would thought it would have been like in the 80s, yeah. especially in 2017. And, Definitely. and this was in, uh, I'm sorry, 2013 is when they did this. So it wasn't really that long ago right. where sex was still but, really popular. And but it's been crazy quadrupled probably since. So, again, I'm taking these from alternate.com. Don't quote me personally. I'm getting them off of there. Uh, let's see. Percentage of women who were in their 20s when they first used a sex toy. This one's pretty legit. 55. 50. And I know a lot of women that, uh, I mean, I was a teenager once or a 20-year-old, that wouldn't use that stuff because they didn't have enough normal sex to experience yet, and they didn't right. want it to, to mimic. I've actually had an ex-girlfriend that was so into her vibrator that she used to come great with every guy she ever had. And then once she got a vibrator, it was really fucking difficult to get her off because she was more, it was faster for her to use the vibrator. And uh, she was also very young at that time. So I'm thinking that, a lot of people probably wait to try it until they're 18 or, you know what I mean? Right. Which obviously you should anyways, because, you yeah, know, 18. I don't want to hear yeah. about any 16 right. year olds after this show. Um, <laughs> yeah, please be 18. Yes. <laughs> I do not feel like spending the night in jail. With no, Big no, we, we ID here. <laughs> um, <laughs> percentage of women who masturbate with a sex toy at least once a week. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm definitely in that one. I'm going to have to say 34 Twelve percent. Oh. Man, was this done in nineteen seventy three? I was just gonna ask. I say we, we're gonna skip a whole section here because I feel like I'm lying to America. Um, here's a more fun one. Let's see. Most popular sex toys purchases online. Number one, vibrators. Nineteen point two percent. That's it. Yeah. That's uh. That's a little weird. You know what? Uh, I'm going to say these anyways because there's a lot of fun ones on here. But I really, man, it just doesn't seem right. It doesn't. Not at all. Uh, here, I'll I've just skip a couple of these then and we'll just we'll get the hell out of this segment here. <laughs> um, let's see. We've got rubber penises is 16%. Lubricants, 14%. Anal beads, 12%. Uh, harness or strap-ons are 4%. Let's get the. We're gonna just skip this one all together, uh, which is okay because we're up on our first break. So when we come back, more with uh, dongs and dildos. Check, check it out, homie. I've had just about enough of these crap radio stations, man. Boring talk, censor crappy music playing on a loop. Enough of that garbage, man. Then I discovered Disruption Networks, homes. You just grab their free app. And you got multiple channels of radio the way it should be. They got business, community, and educational channels. And they have uncensored music and talk channels like the D, homie. Yo, on the D radio channel, they got this homie, Matt Maysher, who broadcasts live from noon to 3 p.m. Eastern, right? This is some funny stuff man they got these comedian co-host jokers phil farta and the billionaire and they bring in all kinds of hot mamacitas new media stars and entrepreneurs for great interviews where they make fun of just about everything it's crazy i say then my dude z the most popular guy in utica new york comes in 3 to 6 p.m with ec radio this hombre knows his tunes homes He's got killer live music in the studio almost every day, man. When he's not talking about jams, he and his boys 
Mason Jar, Masuchi, and Amigo are breaking down the latest sports actions in a way only they can. Both these shows are uncensored and live, so you can even call in and join the fun on me. It's the best, most real radio I've heard since that time I stole a car with satellite radio. To, uh, but this is all free. Go get the free app in your app store now, homes. Just search for Disruption Networks or visit DisruptionNetworks.com. You won't be disappointed, yo. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Life of a Billionaire with your host, John the Billionaire Bellavia. And I am here with Alicia Frawley. And we are back with the big blue dong. Purple. Purple. It's purple? purple. It is. It's, it's considered purple. It's, we now sell it It's blurple. Pink. It's blurple. Blurple. It's a little bit blurple. of both, Agreed. I think. <laughs> Agreed. Blurple. All right. So since that last segment was horribly wrong, uh, not saying the facts are wrong, but it was just boring as hell, uh, we're going to go into some... Uh, Facts you didn't know about adult toys. The oldest reported dildo is 30,000 years old and was unearthed in a, like a German cave. 30,000 years kinda old. That leaves me speechless. Yeah, and uh, I should have pulled up a photo. It looks like a bone almost, uh, but it looks just like, it looks more like, like the wands than it okay. does an actual penis. But they back then they said it was used for healing, actually. And actually, I think we got more of that is on here. Uh an ancient Greek had uh, dildo breadsticks since four th- uh, 400 B.C., and the real name for it is Olisikabokolios, which I'm saying it wrong, but just put a Greek accent on it, and it makes sense. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see what this other one here is. One of the first vibrators, the Tremasseur, was invented in France in 19, uh, 1734. Tremosaur. It sounds like a dinosaur. Yeah, like a I'm sure it's like a coming than a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the first electric vibrator is created uh, and invented by Dr. Joseph Mortimer Granville to release muscle aches, which is legit. Like I I've, believe that. I've got a bad back right now. I'm in pain like crazy, and I bet you if I had that one massager on there, it would probably move some discs around. I don't know. Um. It weighed 40 pounds and required two people to operate, and that's oh. not including the recipient. So that means i got to have you and your employee stop over to the house later to hold this machine over me to massage my, well, I don't have a clitoris, but you know what I mean, <laughs> a 40-pound <laughs> that, that unit. That is intense. That is some close family and friends. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, okay. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm going to find photos of all this stuff, and uh, I'm going to make sure I include that uh, at least on the YouTube you guys listening at home, well, just Google it yourself. Uh, vibrators were initially used by doctors to cure hysteria in women. The symptoms from which include anxiety, sleep, uh, sleeplessness, irritability, nervousness, erotic fantasies, feelings of heaviness and lower abdomen, and wetness between the legs. That's like a good thing, right, for some of that? Oh, yeah. I mean, the yeah. hysteria and the anxiety, I mean, I just assume that comes from crazy women. Sorry. Yeah, but yeah. Th- there's that there's that chart that's on Facebook. Like, yeah. you, you can't have like a hot woman that's not crazy. Listen, every woman I've ever dated was a psychopath, and you know they were all gorgeous. So yeah. that makes sense. Um, before vibrators, doctors cured hysteria by putting vegetable oil on their hands and massaging women's genitals until climax. But now you get arrested for that. Yeah. I was just doing women's health work. I mean, that's. I don't know why I got arrested. Okay. <laughs> Try Just because she paid <laughs> me. And I mean, yeah, it's, it's a fact. Um, the first electric vibrator was officially pat- patented by Hamilton Beach. Now, I think they're an appliance. They do like uh, toasters and toasters, stuff. Toasters, yeah. In uh, 1902. It was the first domestic appliance that was electrified after, oh, erectified after the sewing machine, the tea kettle, toaster, and the and a fan. So that's pretty cool. I mean, that's. So what is it? Like a toaster and like, it, like when the. Toast there pop was. Up, it would be a dick uh, instead. Let me see if I popped up a photo for that because I think that I do have a photo. Let's see if I can. Mm, boop! There it is. Okay. So I don't know if you can see that on your screen. You know, I'm kind of covering my face here though, but that's what the unit looked like. So it's the motor. It looks like for the fan. Uh, I mean, that's what it looks like to me. It's now are those condoms down on the bottom? I think no. What they are is they go on the top, and you can see there's different. Uh, let like, me see. Like these things. So. See how they got like the uh, the, the texture the things? That's what they look like to me. Let me see if I can get it a little bigger here. Yeah, I mean that's what it looks like. It almost looks like a drill bit head. 
that goes in right there. So I'm assuming that's the bit goes into the head, and that's what actually physically massages you. And hmm. they probably have different ones, textured, for ribbed for her pleasure, you know, all that bullshit. Um, yeah, so that was cool. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Mm. So, however, to be discreet, vibrators were advertised as personal massagers. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Uh, after the 1920s, when vibrators started marketing, uh, started making its appearance in pornographic films, the devices were pulled from advertisers well into the 1970s. So it probably wasn't like on the Sears catalog anymore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sears Robux got the fuck out of there. Um, sex toys are banned from shops in Alabama because according to the Assistant Attorney General in 1999, there is no fundamental right for a person to buy a device to uh, produce an orgasm, which is fucking bullshit. He should be arrested for that. He probably, uh, you know, the, you, know, you know what the sad fact about that stuff is? Guys that are into like the the drug banning and the sex banning, they're the biggest hypocrites because he's going to get caught with like a thirteen inch dildo up his ass, and it's going to make the news and it's yeah. going to be great headlines and and great for radio that I can talk on my morning show. <laughs> um, they're also outlawed in India. Uh, India. That's why them guys uh, are so frustrated when you call for technical support. Um, yeah. It's illegal to own more than six dildos in Texas, but you can have 795 handguns in your box, just not a dildo. I'm, that is I'm crazy. I'm going to have to apologize to my cousin. I cannot move to Texas. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, uh, see, that, that was the, the deciding factor. I mean, I, I yeah. assume if you own a business, their products. Uh, yeah, but it, even if it's in my own personal. I mean, like I said, I own 98% yeah. of the catalog. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, That's don't move to fucking one. Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Stay the fuck out of the big big, uh, big old Texas. Uh, 52.5% of women have used a vibrator before. Now, see, this counter uh, reacts to the other facts, which I'm never going to use that site again. Uh, and this makes a lot more sense because I think pretty much everyone my age, and I'm well into my 30s, uh, has used a vibrator at one point whether it was a cheap one they just decided to try out or have like a 24 karat gold, really cool purple one. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. And one in three American women owns a vibrator. Again, I think that's uh, totally legit, you know, especially uh, unless like, you know, your roommate steals yours, then that's you know, what are going to do. Buy another one. Uh, women who used vibrators scored higher on the female sexual function index scale. I didn't know there was a scale. Neither did uh, I. I'm going to have to. What does the scale look like? Uh, what, what's the. I think it's more like a, not a physical scale where you weigh your body on, but I think it's more <laughs> of like, like, like your body mass index. You put in numbers and maybe a questionnaire. Uh, I'll find a link to something like that and I'll put that uh, in the YouTube as well because now I'm a little curious what my female sexual function index scale would be. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, studies shown that women who use sex toys tend to be more uh, consistent with getting pelvic exams and caring about their vaginal health. I, I would have to agree with that one. Yeah, I mean, if you're more into your sexuality and you're, 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 I mean, you're using it, I, I would assume you'd want to keep it healthy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, unlike people that, you know, don't use it, and I'm sure they still want to keep theirs healthy. <laughs> so well, I hope so. <laughs> you never know. Uh, during a live science study in 2011, about half the subjects agreed with positive statements about sex toys, while just 10% agreed with the negative statements. This, I'm glad I, I didn't read this beforehand. I'm glad this just came up, though, because I am absolutely pro-sex toys. A lot of people, more, more guys, I find, are against it. They think if their wife's using it, especially when they're not home, it's cheating or they're thinking of something else. I, I'm absolutely against that. I think it's very uh, healthy for a relationship for both yep. men and women to have a sex toy. Oh, yeah. um, like that really cool can that you got there. Hint, hint to my girlfriend. Um, <laughs> no, I absolutely think it's very, very healthy to both use it apart together. Um, fantasies, like all that stuff. And a lot of people, probably more liberal people, or maybe, I don't even know, maybe people that are older in age that just don't like the idea of it. But I think it's absolutely healthy. I mean, what do you think? Um, I definitely agree. Uh, when I do my in-home parties, um, I try to get everybody to think about a toy 75 percent of the women that say that they have never used a toy actually have never really orgasmed Mm -hmm. so i try to get them steering towards a toy so they can discover that within their own body yeah then they'll they'll be more comfortable it's real crazy the amount of females that have never uh orgasmed before like i've never 
you know, you don't think about it because when you're when you're the guy, you just the guy always orgasms. Right. Uh, and whether a woman fakes it or not, which if you fake it with me, thank you for making me feel better about myself. Um, but like I've had girlfriends that have never received any kind of orgasm other than a toy. And sometimes it's just real tough. Female it bodies is. are really complicated. Um. And if you can use something like this to get yourself there. Oh, yeah. And I mean, I did have one girlfriend that I just could never. I think I made her come one time in our whole like six oh, month wow. relationship. Yeah, it was horrible. But I always came. So I would absolutely let her pull out her toy. And honestly, by her doing that, I was able to get erect and come again by myself. Just watching her. Just watching and her. that's right. That's another thing, too. Women. I mean, women and guys get self-conscious about themselves. I there's nothing wrong with uh, watching your girl and her watching you back. I think it's one oh. of the sexiest things you can do oh, yeah. uh, in a couple definitely. relationship or anything. Definitely. And if you do have a problem orgasming. Um, I would definitely recommend a clitoral toy. Most women do need clitoral stimulation to orgasm. And it's much smaller, too. It's something you can actually Discreet, use while right. you're having sex, actually. Right. So, I mean, while she's riding you or doing whatever, it takes two seconds to put your finger down yeah. there. And that's I mean, it's not going to get in the this, way. It's small. You can barely tell it's there. Yeah. It, honestly, it looks They're like. They're going to know that you're using this in traffic. I just assumed that was like costume jewelry. Like, it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> it looks like a really cool ring. Too. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you could totally get that into a party. Um <laughs> according to that study, or according to the same study, 37% of women believe men felt intimidated by a woman who uses vibrators, but 70% of men were actually totally fine with the sex toy. So that basically almost just kind of talked about what, what we just said. Uh, and usually, like I know me, I'm, I'm a fucking gentleman. I'll buy my girl a dildo. Right. Like I think that's great for Valentine's, birthdays, when you fuck up and she's pissed off at you. It replaces the flowers, which are going to die eventually. Yeah. Uh, one thing I do ask is like if this is if you're getting this for you and your spouse, um, I don't recommend something that completely goes inside the vagina mm -hmm. only because if he's never used it before. Get right on that mic because nobody can hear you. <laughs> if he's never used a toy on you before and he goes to stick this inside of you and then he tries to go, oh, what button do I use to turn it on? And he <laughs> turns that shit. <laughs> but I'm sure it's not going to feel pretty. And, so if this is his first time using a toy on you, and mm -hmm. you guys have never introduced toys in the sex, like in the toy or the bedroom or anything like that, I would recommend something smaller to where he's not inserting sure. it in your vagina and turning it. In. So you wouldn't recommend what like a fuck? like a 14 inch dong Hell on the no. first time? Hell no. Okay. No. You got to work up to well, that kind of skill. I guess. I guess if it doesn't turn on, it would be all right. Yeah. It's more the ones where he has to look at the buttons to figure out how to use it. Sure, and uh, he hits super ultra high, shoves it so far <laughs> in there, and now she's a bobble wobble doll. Yeah, now she stutters. <laughs> That's how that happens. I was always yeah, curious. Yeah, I guess they guess kids were, are born with stuttering because their parents use a dildo. Oh, that's why um, my kid's got a dent in his forehead. It, I was going to say, it's totally wrong. None of my kids stutter. I got three of them. Yeah, I, I don't stutter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Today, Junior. <laughs> uh, 83.8% of sex toy buyers use total use toys for cl uh, clitoral orgasms, and other than 64% use, use dildos as strap-ons. Okay, so what it's saying is, 83% use it for the clit, where the other 64 basically use it as a dildo or a strap-on for someone else. Right. Okay. I mean, really, that's that's women get off through their clitoris. It's not that they exactly get off inside their vagina. I mean, some actually do, right. like the squirters, and, you know, there's, yep. I guess everything down there is erogenous, but really, you get off by your clit. Yeah. Or the G-spot, and that, that thing that there guys is a different don't orgasm. know where it is. There's yeah. vaginal, there's clitoral, there's G-spot, there's actually nipple, skin to yeah. skin. Absolutely. Prostate for guys. Prostate for guys. Guys only get two. Like, we don't... We, we can have anal orgasms as well. Really? So now you don't have a prostate, yeah. but it probably still works in the area. Right. And, yep. and stimulates around the certain area. This, this is a butt plug. I thought that was a right. cork for the wine bottle we were just drinking out of. Go ahead and turn the lights off. Put That's... It, put this in your ass and run around the house. Have them chase you. Like a little pony? little like little, a little, little firefly. Little... <laughs> <laughs> That's actually very cute. It's adorable. It's only the size of your thumb. Yeah, Most so it's not too intimidating. Like, that is not going to my ass. It's the size of your thumb. Come on. I mean, we've all had a thumb in our ass, so I mean, yeah. you know, it's not that big of a deal. That's actually really good. <laughs> Just like the way it blinks. And it blinks to the vibration. Oh, uh, Okay. So as that's blinking, it's actually vibrating as well. So you play a good uh, trap music in the background, and yeah. it goes with the room. Right. I could just, I would love to see, like, when you're done with sex and she walks to the bathroom and just that little bloop, 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 bloop. bloop. <laughs> All the way to the bathroom with the lights <laughs> up. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Number 21. So we're, we're a little bit more than uh, three ways through. Sex toy boutique Babe Bland uh, reported 50% increase in sales in February right around Valentine's Day. 
Obviously. Oh, yeah. Everyone, you know, it's hand in hand with flowers and candy. And not only that, it's tax season. Oh, yeah. That's when everyone's got that extra money to yes. spend uh, $189 on a, on a dong to, for his beautiful girlfriend or her girlfriend or for herself. Um, or for that fella that just, yeah. whatever. I don't want to be uh, that guy that only puts, because, I mean, anyone can use these products. Yes. Even uh, even the, clitoral, uh, the, the clit stimulator. I'm pretty sure there's some guy out there that there figured is. a way to get it off, rubbing it on the shaft of his hat or something. Yeah. And actually, I've actually sold a few to men. Yeah, and it doesn't even have to be a gay thing either. Uh, I know a lot of people that enjoy pr- uh, the prostate, pegging. I mean, it doesn't freaking matter, dude. It's 2017. If it works safely. I wouldn't right. say put the wrong thing up there, but at least if you got, I mean, <laughs> I remember as a kid hearing stories of just like the most gruesome, weirdest shit, having to go Things. to the doctors yes. and get it removed yeah. from you. Um, oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the sex toy market actually boomed during the recent recession. Again, if you have money to spend, you're going to find something to spend it on. Might as well be something that brings pleasure and happiness to a home. Right. It just sounded like I'm selling a Christmas carol or something. Like, yeah, if the wife's it's happy, good the house is happy. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, the top three sex toy states, based on sex toy purchases per capita, South Dakota, Idaho, and West Virginia. Hmm. Uh, random. Yeah, very random. I would have probably said New York, Florida, and Texas. I would have said New York, Florida, and California. California. Yeah. But again, there's so much sex there that these other places remember people are closet about everything they are not everyone is as open like me and you to talk about this show and have dongs and dildos right. a, a lot of people i mean other than their girlfriends knowing it's not like they're promoting it's not like they're sure like they buy a new car and they post it on facebook and like check out my new audi yeah. check out my number double right. ender right. like it's not <laughs> something you'd push so i think yeah. a lot of people would probably be the ones you wouldn't suspect right and there's nothing wrong with that as long as you're making yourself happy it's all that matters um, and the three most popular purchases at Textoy. Yeah, man, I'm stuttering over here. You got me <laughs> nervous. <laughs> Let's try that again. And the three most popular purchases at sex toy stores are vibrators, 19.2%, which does match the other fact. Dildos at 16% and lube at 14 which also matches the other facts. Right. So maybe I shouldn't talk so much shit about the other yeah, uh, facts, but whatever. Maybe we, maybe we're just more focused on people like us. Yeah, I think that's the fact. I mean, when they do this stuff, they probably do a wide range of 18 to... Well, it did say 18 to 60 something, and I don't know many 60-year-olds right. that, no. you know, hook up I, the jumper cables. I actually cables. had a party with a bunch of 65-year-old ladies. Really? A lot of yeah. loops sold that day. Yes. <laughs> yes, a lot. A lot of the just like me. I didn't realize you sold it in gallon form. No, I don't. I sell it in six packs, though, and I'm. I, I'm I think I sold it in a six pack. It's not six the pack six pack night. I said to bring over, Erdo, yeah. but that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> Dildo replicas exist of famous porn stars like Dean, uh, James Dean, and Ron Jeremy, and other celebs. Uh, and honestly, like I think that's just as popular with women too. I right. mean, uh, Jenna Jamerson has the the vagina mold yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Um, there's a company out there called Bad Dragon that manufactures dragon themed dildos, flashlights, and more. I've you see a lot more animal type of uh, images. I notice you guys don't really carry. I mean, you have the bunny ears, right? But you don't have like a fucking wild beast. No, and, no. Yeah. Keeping it a little We're bit classy. Trying to keep it classy, yeah. Well, and that's the nice thing about your company. I was searching through your website, which we'll get to in a little while. Let the people at home actually check it out. And it's very, it's very select. It's not like some websites that have 973 dildos and they don't really give you a description. And right. you guys really seem to handpick and select specifically what you want to put out there because you, I'm sure there's a huge research and development uh, team which goes oh, home yeah. sore as fuck at night. Yeah. Yeah, I could just imagine working for them guys. Yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, the the president of our company is actually a male. Really? It is, yep. Gotcha. Well, I mean, that makes sense. His, his mom founded the company. And, and he took it over. And he did. What a nice thing for mom to hand over. A warehouse full of dongs. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Let's make sure we forward this to him. He's going to love it. Yeah. Uh, the most expensive toy in the world is a white gold vibrator with 117 um, uh, diamonds in it, worth almost $55,000. Now, I don't know how close I am with my old lady, but if I pull that out and $10,000 of the carrots come up missing, I'm going to get pissed. Yeah. Literally, because I'd be worried about them falling inside somewhere. Right. And yeah. I would be going in fist first to get them one way or another because, yeah. you know. I think <laughs> something like this is something like Beyonce and J-Lo buy, just right. to say they own but I bet I you they, they don't even use it. it. No. Right. It's probably like one of those, uh, 
like sex dungeons. You have it on yeah. a throne in the middle, but like with that glass case over it. So if you lift it, it, an it, alarm goes alarm off goes and off. a ball rolls you over and the Temple of Doom blows up. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, sales in bondage toy reportedly increased by 50% after 50 Shades of Grey. Now, we all know when that movie and books came out, we all thought we were like this bondage king. I bought every kind of strap, uh, every kind of whip. I even went to the hardware store and got duct tape and all that, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. But it's not like in the movies. You really got to have a safe for it. I didn't think that was a real thing until I started screaming it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we actually have a bed bondage and beyond. It's um, ankle and wrist restraints that go Under underneath your mattress but on top of your box spring. So when you're ready to use it, you just flip out the restraints, oh, and then you can just tuck them in when you're yeah, done. That's they fit smart. every size bed. Really? Yep. I don't have to drill into the wood frame anymore with shackles. But just make sure, like, if you move, your mother-in-law don't go back there. Uh, so, like, your mother-in-law is like, oh, I didn't know your mattress comes with handles. Yeah, so we and can easily like, move it out. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's like and those. And she's like, I think it's broken because they just fell off when I lifted up the mattress. <laughs> <laughs> I would uh, see if my mom seen that. She would probably notice what they were and be like, "Add a boy, yeah. good, good job, John." Well, Glad I'm saying mother-in-law, like, oh, I, I his think, mother, you know, he, uh, he, if your mother, so if 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 oh, if my mother was there, I'd be like, "Mom, I think she, the, she owns one." She owns well, one. here's the thing: if the mother-in-law sees it, she's like, "My boy is getting some in a freaky way." Fuck yeah! But yeah. I mean, every every in-law is different, yeah. I guess. She's she's more calm, collective. Oh. Just, discreet about a lot of stuff gotcha that sucks yeah yeah she's she's the closet freak i think oh oh, oh so she knows what it is because she's got her own just probably. don't want you to know right. about it that makes a lot of sense now she's probably one of the anonymous orders that came through my website <laughs> shortly after the move so. yes <laughs> oh my god um and benoit balls we do we have those here yes we do because we have a little fact about them so benoit uh yeah Man, I need to take a drink of coffee here. Good thing the camera's on you. They can't see me <laughs> starting. Um, so Benoit balls, which are used for Kegel exercises, uh, have had sales skyrocket 350% since the same series. And by Kegels, that's you tighten up the muscle down there? Yes, that's correct. Now, is that for grippage? Um, it's for grippage. Um, it's to hold your urine after you have a kid because oh. I've had three of them when I sneeze. You know. Yeah. Like Not my, shit happens. Piss happens. Yeah. It, it does. My girl pulls that trick where uh, after we have sex and say if I go in her because, you know, whatever, she's got protection. Right. She'll uh, she'll squeeze it like uh, like she'll stand on. T- she'll sit on top and then she'll just keep squeezing it. And I'm like, ah, yeah. And it makes yep. you jump because, you know, jump. when guys go, we can't just keep playing with right. it. Right. And she's got this horrible game she plays with me every night. Well, it happens. Yeah. It's kind of cool. It actually helps <laughs> cleans it off, too, when she lifts right. up that way. It's kind of like the like suction like device. <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly. Now, are those considered small for Benoit balls? Or? Yes, these are small. Um, they're weighted. What they do is they fall to the pockets on the just the inside of the vaginal opening. Mm-hmm. And when you do your Kegels, it just like lifting weights. Oh, no kidding. So literally, I mean, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. And the more you do, more you exercise, you build that muscle up. Correct. Yep. It does not make you like a virgin. We have cream that makes your it actual tightens. vaginal opening tighter. Well, while we're on that subject, you want to show some of them, too? All right. I mean, okay, but if you got it, I want to see it. Okay. This is making my night. Best podcast I've done in a while. And I've had some pretty badass podcasts, but this is giving me more ideas than I knew about. She brought like suitcases and I a did. forklift and uh, <laughs> got all kinds of stuff in the building. Like a virgin. It doesn't erase your past. Let's put that on the far shot screen right there because it's a little easier to read. Yeah, we can see that pretty good. All right. Um, and it's a small bottle because you don't need yes, a lot, right? You don't need a lot. If you use a lot, you're you're going to be like a virgin again. You're going to want to cry when you're having sex. Oh, um, we don't want that. No, not at all. I think like lube, a lot of people assume you need like just a fucking ton of it. And right. you really don't need. You only you, need even need with like lube, you don't size. need a lot. And a lot of people squirt the hell out of that. And then it makes it so you can't even enjoy it because it's just too slippery. You got to clean right. it off a little bit. Yep. Um, and then we've got bosom buddy. It's for the nipples. Oh. It's for the lips and nips, nothing below the hips. I like that. If you put it below the hips, it's going to burn. Really? I wonder yeah. how much they paid for someone to write that marketing. Uh, right. You know, I, I think someone we just, just kind of developed it over all of us, kind of. It's kind of a nice jingle right there. Yeah. I like that. It, it's easier to mention certain things about the products to where when ladies come into the ordering room, they can actually say, oh, you know, like the one that's for your lips and your nips, nothing below sure. the hips. Because they don't remember the name. But it's fun to remember something like right. that. Definitely. I mean, I could just see them when they're on the treadmill, and they're just like, lips, 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 lips. <laughs> Damn it, I got that jingle stuck in my head now. 
All right, let's get back. We've got a few more on here. This one's kind of cool. The band Steely Dan was named after a strap-on from a novel, Naked Lunch, uh, by William S. Burroughs. So the band Steely Dan was named after a strap-on. That's kind of cool. So it must have been the name of the strap-on, maybe, in the in the novel? Oh, maybe. I'm going to have to Google and see what that novel's about, but I don't read books, but I might listen to this one on tape. Yeah. Just to, just to see the, the resemblance. Uh, the rabbit vibrator was invented in 1983 and was made to look like a rabbit because, oh, this is cool, Japanese manufacturers weren't allowed to make vibrators. So this is like one of those loopholes. So oh, by making yeah, it yeah, an animal, like they right. could manufacture and probably distribute all over the world, make billions of dollars, and it was the only legal way to do it. And the plus of a rabbit is it's got those bunny ears, and honestly, they that that's exactly what they if it just perfectly hits the clitoris. Am I right? Right. It, yes. Yep. I wonder, man. That that guy must be huge money. I mean, oh, yeah. it wasn't even that long ago, 1983. So this guy's probably like a bazillionaire right now. He oh, probably yeah. patting the oh, hell out sure. of that. Uh, Sex in the City writers decide to give Charlotte an obsession with the rabbit after going to the pleasure chest and learning that the rabbit was the biggest selling toy. Um, that makes a lot of sense. She was the freak one uh, in the show, which yep. weirdly attracted me to her. Um, in two th- oh, this is cool. In 2006, Oprah dubbed the rabbit Habit as the Rolls Royce of sex toys in O Magazine. Hmm. The rabbit Habit. That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, let's see. We can uh, let's talk about one more before we go to our next break. Uh, why don't you pick something really cool that you think will arouse me? And I don't mean it like that. That will arouse you? Or you pique my interest. Huh. Well, we were talking about bondage. This is vanilla bondage kit. Um, it's just a little tub. It comes with hand restraints and a blindfold. Oh. I, I say this is restraints on the go. So, like, if you want to, like, pull over to, like, Looks like a thing of haagen Right. It's just got two straps. One end of the strap has a hole. You just wrap it around your wrist. You tuck the other uh. end in. In. Very cool, and I'm assuming uh, you can just tie it wherever. Really, and it doesn't. It's not gonna like. It's not rubber or nothing, so it's not gonna like hurt your hands. No, it won't leave a mark. All. No, it it will leave a mark if you pull it really tight. Really? Yeah. Well, that's the mark. But, sexy I mean, sometimes. I was gonna say it's like marking your territory. Yeah. Remember when you used to do like the uh, the hickeys? Yeah, that's that's so 2000. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the mark back then. Like it is. you know, oh, yeah. when I was like, in high hey, school, yeah, everyone would mark some. each other and. Some. Like, yeah, yeah. Or it's even more. The girl would be like, ain't no girl going to talk to my man because he's got a right. hickey. Yeah. Or, or back in my day, it was the rug burn. Yeah. The rug burn was big, too. <laughs> yes. Like, I went to school. The guy that I'm seeing, you know, back when we were 15, we yeah. went to school. We had rug burn everywhere. Your knees and were like, all fucked up. Right. But, like, we're like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. We're really, you were and just, like, you now know. now it's like, fuck, no. Yeah. I guess not. Well, now that's we're like cool. professionals and shit right. and can't have that. Uh, not having <laughs> sex on the bathroom floor in the middle of a party well, anymore. I still do that. Anyways. Say, Fuck it. <laughs> Who cares? Let's just go to the bed. Listen, just because we're older doesn't mean... Well, here's the thing with that. I don't, I don't mean we're older, but I am very adventurous. I will have sex anywhere. I just had sex in my truck Saturday, actually. It was, I even posted it on Facebook because it was really... A, it was a, I haven't done that in like months, you know? Yeah. Uh, but the problem is at my age, I can't move Maneuver. and hold and structure. And I'm, I'm not a little guy. Uh, if you look at me... I'm 300 pounds, uh, and my girlfriend's like 120, so I feel bad for her. But still, I mean, I still want to be able to do that weird shit. Yeah, it's I don't crazy be... that you said that because um, not yesterday, but the day before, um, me and my guy were driving. You know, we just dropped off a bunch of sex toys from a party, and we were trying to figure out a spot to have sex. I'm like, you can't go back to the house because, you know, my kids are there with sure. my sister. So I pull up to a stop sign, and I look directly across the street, and there's a church with a back parking lot. God bless you. He did. He did. He <laughs> did. I need a high five for that. He did. There we and, go. <laughs> and so did the seat of my car. Yes. Because um, I am a squirter. But so thank I, God it, you had some of that powdery stuff to right. spray. I and leave it in my car at all times, everywhere we go. Like, most people have a survival kit, and I just would... You, you don't have Band-Aids and survival shit. You just right. got all these cool accessories. I do. Yep. Man, I'm glad we're on the I same level. Uh, let's take a quick break and uh, we're more of the squirting, uh, Alicia. Check it out, homie. I've had just about enough of these crap. Right? Yeah. 
boring talks. And check it out, homie. I've had just about enough of these crap radio stations, man. Boring talk, censor crappy music playing on a loop. Enough of that garbage, man. Then I discovered Disruption Networks, Holmes. You just grab their free app and you got multiple channels of radio the way it should be. They got business, community, and educational channels. And they have uncensored music and talk channels like the D, homie. Yo, on the D radio channel, they got this homie, Matt Maysher. Who broadcasts live from noon to 3 p.m. Eastern, right? This is some funny stuff, man. They got these comedian co-host jokers, Phil Farda and the billionaire. And they bring in all kinds of hot mamacitas, new media stars and entrepreneurs for great interviews. Where they make fun of just about everything. It's crazy, I say. Then, my dude Z, the most popular guy in Utica, New York, comes in 3 to 6 p.m. with EC Radio. This hombre knows his tunes, Holmes. He's got killer live music in the studio almost every day, man. When he's not talking about jams, he and his boys, Mason Jar, Masuchi, and Amigo are breaking down the latest sports actions in a way only they can. Both these shows are uncensored and live, so you can even call in and join the fun, homie. It's the best, most real radio I've heard since... That time I stole a car with satellite radio in it. <laughs> but this is all free. Go get the free app in your app store now, homes. Just search for Disruption Networks or visit disruptionnetworks.com. You won't be disappointed, yo. And we are back. This is John, the billionaire Bellavia, and again, this is Life of a Billionaire with uh, the amazing Alicia Frawley. We're having a lot of fun. Uh, she's with Pure Romance by Alicia, and we've got a lot of cool products we've been going through. Uh, one thing I wanted to get into, I'm reading that bottle from afar, and it just says Coochie, and it just yes. sounds like something I want to know about. Um, this is actually Pure Romance number one selling product. Coochie is an all-over body shave cream. Uh, you can use it on your coochie, your legs, your underarms. What it does is it exfoliates your pores while you shave to where you don't get the razor bumps, you don't get the awkward itch. Because I know guys, they don't care about itching in public, but us ladies try to keep it discreet. We go and we shave down there and we get like the little razor bumps um, to where we don't want to come out completely and just start itching ourselves. So we dig in our pocket like we're looking for change and we uh, kind of like rub it, you know, like trying yeah. to itch it. Yeah, so this helps prevent that. Um, no, the more you use it, the, the less you have to shave. I know women, uh, their skin's more sensitive and tender and all that, but can guys use this as well? Um, actually, we kind of got tired of the guys going around saying, oh, I got coochie on my face. <laughs> <laughs> this product. So we actually came out with a men's line that we have men's scent of coochie. Because, it's called Shave. Uh, me personally, I mean, I groom because women nowadays, it's 2017, most women don't want your hairy down there, right. at least in my experience. Uh and I used to just I used to shave it completely, and then it was just so annoying because of the bumps. So right. I would just buzz it to the lowest number, and then shave the shaft and everything yep. else. But honestly, I liked it cleaner because it made me look bigger. Right. Um, <laughs> we all like that. Yes. So uh, man, I'm gonna have to. I'm. We're gonna have a whole conversation after this show because I'm not leaving without something. I'm gonna make sure I place an order with you today. Okay. Um. So again, we have so it's the coochie line, and then what's the guys one called again? Shave. Shave. And these we, are all we try on the to website. make it easy for men because men don't really like directions. They don't want to read the bottle and say what is this for. So we made it easy. We've got the spray. And it just spray. says shave. Like that's it says shave. That's a, that's a, a woman came up with that. So I know the president maybe a male, but a woman was like, just say shave. Yep. Oh, and our burritos. We're just gonna call them eat. Yes. Right. <laughs> Car is mean, gonna be just drive. That's the new yep. 2017 drive. Right. I like that way that thinks though. The caveman yeah. mentality actually still works though. It does. <laughs> it does. I freaking love it. Uh, so another cool little thing I found on here. Uh, this is the crazy sex toy facts. And this is on SheKnows.com. Uh, some of these are just kind of cool, and I thought we would get into them. Uh, I like doing these little facts. I, cause I'm, right. And I, I, I haven't really read these. I maybe skimmed okay. through just to make sure it was legit. And I like learning about everything. The reason why okay. I got into podcasts is so I can learn about stuff, which is why most people are either bands or product carriers or right. something I'm interested in. 
So number one, animals are the most popular shape for dildos besides, well, the obvious dildos. You can buy them in shapes of dolphins, unicorns, cats, teddy bears, and a surprising array of insects. Uh, and I mean, I think that's pretty pretty fair. Yeah. I, I, if you go to like more of uh, like an adult store, I always thought it was just to be able to show off different products like you know the more different things you have but fetishes are out there people love dolphins and little kitty cats i just wouldn't shove a pussy up my pussy but right i was more thinking like the insects like i don't want no beetle crawling around they have like crabs they have like (laughs) (laughs) well they have like the butterfly that was pretty cool i remember that was for nipples and clitoris that was cool i mean like I bought them, I bought them for girlfriends. That's one thing that I want Pure Romance to come out with. Yeah, with, is the little belt underwear. Yeah, with the butterfly where the guy controls it. Yeah, I could, I would make that. I'd make my girlfriend piss because I would do it only when I know she didn't want me to. Right, she couldn't hate me for it. Yeah, and then like right <laughs> when she's almost there, turn it off. Yeah, <laughs> total dick move. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look into that. Uh, <laughs> so let's see, number two. Silicone, steel, Pyrex, glass, or specially laminate woods are the only materials deemed safe for inside your body, according to the Yale Review. Pyrex, not just for your casserole dishes anymore. (laughs) 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 That seems pretty legit. I don't think I've heard of other products that... I mean, I'm sure someone, like, like again, you get into these eBay stores and products from Japan that, you know, they don't always go by all the guidelines, but that's pretty much... Sums the lineup. Yeah. I always thought the glass ones were cool. I used to, I used to have a head shop that sold some of this stuff, and right next door we had a, a, a pawn shop, and a guy brought in like ten or twelve glass dildos, and honestly they looked cool. Like we looked yeah. them up, they're worth hundreds of dollars, but we wouldn't buy them because they were used, obviously. And it's the only thing, the only time I ever thought about maybe buying them because, I mean, you could literally it's glass. Right. It's just like buying dishes. People stuff cups up their pussies i'm sure some freak somewhere has done that yeah. um but i just couldn't do it wouldn't that be some shit you shove a glass up there and you can like look right in there just like one of the doctors the c and i glass i love it are you kidding me like i had a girlfriend who was a squirter and we used to take like a champagne all right let's talk about that later yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> more an approved list of things that can go in the vagina okay whatever that says uh color is a cultural preference The Belgians like their toys orange, but not red. The French love light purple, but won't touch yellow. North Americans aren't picky, according to the Fun Factory. One sec. Yeah, because Americans, we're fucking freaks, man. We don't give a shit what color it is. It can talk to us in three languages, and we'll still bang it. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Working in a sex toy factory doesn't make you a sex god. It can start a conversation, and in order to have sex with someone... First, you have to talk to them. So in some ways, yes, it does help, said one dildo factory worker. Now, I'm assuming for you people out there that can't get laid and want to sell for romance, that'd be a great way to maybe find your oh, mate yeah. or multiple mates, depending on what you're looking for. Oh, yeah. Uh, work. Let's see. Uh, anal vibrators now are made with a safety grip at the bottom after too many people actually lost them up there in either regions and had to get them surgically removed. As we were talking about a couple of these products, like the balls, Keep yeah. it as a stop. The double-ended dildo, I'm assuming, you know. I, I don't think. Uh, if you shove you, that whole thing up your ass. You I will fucking be amazed, and I would like yeah. to see that. So send me a link uh, to at Ballyhanner315. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Make sure you tag me in that when you yes, do that Yes, I will absolutely forward that to you. <laughs> uh, the process of making silicone sex aids is... I mean, I'm going to butcher that word, so I'm not going to say it. Known as cooking, an industry, thanks to the method of pouring metal silicone into molds, cooking a hot pocket takes on a whole new meaning. And that's cool. Like, I've, uh, you ever done like the, and I know you guys don't carry it, but the mold a, mold a dick? No. No, I've done that for almost every girlfriend I've been with over the past four years, so it hasn't been many. But uh, it's a cool, cool little process. The only thing I don't care about it, like, it's pretty cool. It looks just like it. You yeah. put an egg in it. it. I mean, it's essentially you're making a vibrating dildo, but there's no way to extend the size because uh, you're molding your actual dick. And I tried to go right. around that, and like <laughs> you just can't do it. Yeah, I was trying to fake the world. Uh, it looked really weird. It was all veiny and cool, and then it just looked like a PVC pipe because that's what I used. Uh, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> companies use focus groups, people typically between 20 and 45 years old, to test out new sex toys before deciding which ones are the most popular. I Vol- want that job. Me too. Uh, volunteers are paid for their time and actual money, not just orgasms. I would absolutely, uh, I'd give up my day job for that probably. Yeah, so would I. I mean, I'm there three days a week. I- I'd give up the morning radio show to be able to you know, play with all these toys. And oh, yeah. I- I'm sure women uh, can put more hours in than guys, though, because once I'm oh, in yeah. there, after two or three, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to go farther than right. that. 
thanks to a London company, you can now have a custom cast or an orifice of, of your choice in bronze, glass, or even chocolate, although it does involve being injected with the same gel that dentists use to make molds. That's kind of like what we just talked about. This is a little different, though. Bronze, that'd be really cool to have on my mantle. Okay. Like, if I was real proud of that dick, nightstand. yeah, I'd put it right in the nightstand. It does two things. It looks cool, and it's very functional. And go ahead and, like... Put it into like one of those lamps where you where you gotta touch it. And like oh, it that's on, like, cool! Like a three pul- three pulse touch. That's yeah. very cool. The chocolate one sounds cool, but I can only see that being one time use. Yeah. I mean, I wonder if it would be hollowed or solid. Because if it was solid, you might get a little time, and that would actually, I've I've taken like uh, like suckers, mm-hmm. and it just makes it taste extra cherry. Right. Like that's a cool idea. So if you're into chocolate, that would probably be cool. Uh, areola spray. Painted on sex dolls with pro makeup sprayers loaded with permanent paint. Areolas are sprayed, painted. So basically it's just telling you that they're spray painted on. Okay, cool. You guys don't carry sex dolls, do you? No, okay. we don't. Too much squeaky noises? Yeah. Yeah. You ever, you ever had sex with a blow-up doll? No. I've never. I own a couple. Cause, well, you've been to. I, I did the, the redneck uh, roundup and the redneck yes. uh, parties. And I own a few of them because we use them as props. I've never stuck my dick in one. But I would stick my dick in these new realistic silicone talk to you and call you daddy dolls. Right. Like well, these remember thi- the one guy we went to the redneck hoedown at the bar. Steve, yeah, yes. Steve. Yeah, he had, well, he had a sheep, though, that or a goat, a yeah. <laughs> I'd probably fuck that before I would fuck her. No, okay, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're toys. I mean, if you, okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> toys made with vinyl, latex, or a combination of these other plastics, for example, a silicone jelly mix are not considered to be sca- safe skin contact. It should only be used with a condom, says Yale. So, I don't know. Maybe latex. Eh, I don't know where I go with that. Just trying to protect you. Yeah, I, I think what that more uh, more or less is, if you have, like, vertigo or, like, a skin allergy, and all of a sudden you start breaking out, or, right. you know, and it's one of those legal loopholes to make sure that, God forbid it ever does happen, we're not going to assume and say that that happened. Yeah. Still a cool fact to know. People, <laughs> I love this one. People get emotionally attached to their pleasure pumpers, and companies report receiving love notes from customers addressing their favorite toys. I'm sure you get a ton of reviews. I do, and people probably hit you up like crazy, telling you how much I they do. love what they and got. And actually, I I normally ask my clients, you know, how did you like your toy? You know, did it work out for you? You know, I I like to know that kind of stuff because I want to make sure that you're pleased. It's great customer End service. End of story. Uh, speaking of that though, like I can imagine like my, my ex will not, sh- or my, I'm not, oh my God, I just called her my ex. She's going to kill me. My girlfriend will not shut the fuck up about her dildo getting stolen. And I'm pretty sure she was more attached to that than anything. So yeah. I could see that like people spend a lot of money on these and they, they have the, the sex drawer. Mine was always the third drawer down, which yeah. had all the toys and had Mine's a lock a cabinet in the bathroom. Yeah. Well, see mine was in the bedroom cause I didn't want the kids getting to it, but I had like a cool little lock and all that shit. Yeah. Um, so I can see that happening. I mean, I, I bet you there's incidences where people broke up and literally got the, the dong in the divorce. Oh yeah. Actually, uh, when my sister had just moved out of her place the night that we had sex in uh, the church parking lot, they actually had a strap on. So I went, I attached it to their garbage can out front. <laughs> I love so, it. Sick him straight up. <laughs> <laughs> the garbage guy, uh, literally was told to go fuck himself. All literally. Right. Uh, the sex toy industry is valued at over fifteen billion dollars worldwide, and has grown thirty percent since. Like that is so true because sex sells. Whether it's the toys, videos, personal pleasure, I mean, everyone does it. Everyone, and if you're one of those guys that are like, I don't masturbate, I don't do this. Everybody does. I don't care what it is. Uh, everyone's watched the tranny film once. Everyone's watched lesbian porn. Yeah. I just don't care. It's one of those things where you do it, whether you are into it or not you still do it so don't lie uh it's it's you can do whatever the fuck you want you're your own person it's 2017 bu uh those and they must spell it wrong because it says early but those really realistic looking dream dolls include an internal heating system oh okay no the earlier realistic dream dolls included a interior internal heating i'm gonna get this right system uh inside the aluminum frame to give the silicone that warm feeling just like human flesh like, I mean, it's kind of cool. So it's got, like, a internal warmer. Keeps it warm. So, yeah, it's I mean, where it's not cold. I mean, plastic. Where you go and you stick your dick in it. And you, yeah, it's not it that. It gets tucked up into your belly again. I mean, nowadays you just use, like, the warming gel. Yeah. Kind of gives it that same feeling. Right? But but it says earlier ones. So 
uh, again, it's misspelled a whole bunch of times in here. It's the first one that I've seen that's I can't read too well. So maybe it's not earlier. Maybe it's more realistic. I don't know. But in general, I mean, it's just like options. When I get my truck, I want to make sure my heat, seats are heated. Right. It's kind of cool. Uh, you can make your own sex toys out of ordinary household objects. You'll never look at the spoon the same way again. Okay. So I don't recommend doing that. Uh, not to say I haven't use weird shit whatever but uh again you're gonna look real awkward trying to get the soup spoon out of your ass at the hospital uh oh, yeah. the next day clearly these these websites like pure romance sell certain products that have obviously been tested uh i'm sure some of these came from the idea of stupid stories they've heard and they just found a way to perfect mm-hmm. it but you know don't go stick in the broom anywhere it's wood it will leave splinters yeah uh despite their reputation though those aren't meant to be boyfriend replacements which is re- which is very true a sex toy is never to be replaced for a real penis. Into an, it's, it, it's an addition. This is local CEO of a random place that I'm not going to mention. Uh, and that's true. A lot of guys, that's why they feel insecure. They think that they're not getting enough sex uh, because she's using a dildo. And honestly, yep. you're getting way more sex because she's using a dildo. She's getting If she's get, coming more frequently, she's more into it. Whether I mean, my girl probably uses it before I get home every single night, and she's still ready to go because she gets oh, her yeah. in that mood. Women yep. can keep going like that. Guys, think of it like this, uh, and this is an excuse guys sell, tell the women to get them out of trouble. You go to the strip club for what reason? To get excited, to enjoy your time, but when you go home, you nail the fuck out of your old lady, and it just it, it yep. gets you there. It builds your sense up. It gets you in the mood. I think that kind of works somewhat in the same way. There are no safe regulations for sex toy industry as FDA considers them a novelty. Let's keep it that fucking way, because once the FDA gets involved, uh, it's just annoying as hell. They ruin everything. Actually, our uh, Just Like Me just got FDA approved. Really? It did. Hmm. Look at that, fellas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we uh, we got approved here. <laughs> <laughs> so don't fuck the FDA too much, but yeah, still fuck yeah. the FDA. Uh, <laughs> and this is a product you don't carry, but you have something similar. So I'm going to call it the uh, the Can Can. Use real women as models. No, that doesn't work either. Anyways, the flashlight uses real women as models to make sure they get the anatomy right. Porn star uh, Efret Mai, also known as the originator. Teen mom star Farah Abram, which is extremely hot, recently made uh, news for posting her own. She made her own. Uh, and that's true. Obviously, there's Jenna Jameson's got... The whole pocket pussy thing. I mean, oh, yeah. lots of, once you're famous, I mean, hell, if I actually get famous from something I do, they might want a miniature size belly near to sell. Yeah. You never know. Uh, this is kind of cool. Makeup artists and hairstylists are hired to make sure sex dolls are done up according to most current trends. That's just obvious. I mean, yeah. you, you build you, you, you build them the way it's going to sell. You want to make sure that, you know, it's not like 1970s poofy hairstyle and, you know, you build it to what's <laughs> popular. Hair. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, this is cool too. And a lot of, I like learning this stuff. Inflatable dolls, dolls. Holy shit! Where's my voice going? I don't know. I did you use one of these toys before we started? No. You're stuttering not even, a lot. Not even. Inflatable dolls are all pre-inflated to make sure they aren't and there aren't any holes. Uh, at least there were not supposed to be any. So that just makes sure they're not gonna like the old right. cartoon back in the day. Yeah. One of the fastest growing subsets of the market. I should be making you read this. It'd be way hotter. One of the fastest growing subsets of the market are, okay, Christian sex toys. Marketed to couples who want to use them as a part of their marital relationship without porn. Uh, I don't know if I would put the word Christian in there, but that just makes it a little awkward. I don't don't know what a Christian sex toy would be, like a crucifix. That's fucking weird. How the fuck would you get that? I don't think it's a crucifix. I think it's uh, <laughs> not to look like a penis, maybe. Maybe so it's not so weird. I, I don't know. We'd have to actually Google that up, which I'm not going to do right now. But it's still kind of a, uh, a weird fact. Kind of right. cool to know. 21, the last one. It's illegal to manufacture or sell sex toys in India, Malaysia, and South Africa. China currently produces 70% of the vast majority of the world's toys. So I know we've seen India. Uh, I didn't know about South Africa, Malaysia. And I, I wonder what the rule for that is. I mean, you'd think they'd make a shit ton of more money. That's probably why there's so many kids over there, though. It, it, man, you just hit the the nail on the head. Although in, you can do it in China, though, and there's that's the biggest population in the world. So. Right. Hmm. Eh, well, we're not going to spend any more time fact-checking that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. What do we have? What have we not gone off? I think these are pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see them. They look like uh, trying to be badass T-birds with great... Oh, I don't know what they are. Right. <laughs> yeah, they're, mas- they're massage gloves. Um, you got the different 
the different textures on both sides. Um, it's mainly for the guys that are lazy that don't want to give their. Ah, you know, okay. So you just put them on like a glove, and then we've got the massage lotion and oils, and then all you really have to do is just. You look rub like a badass skin. futuristic right. biker. <laughs> That's gonna hurt you a lot more than me. Right. And you would just put some lotion on there, and yeah. Would you be rough with it, or just kind of like just do? just roll over the skin, roll yeah. over the skin. Um, I mean, that could probably work for my back does, and everything yeah. else. Um, another massage product that we have is a reusable heating pack. Um, it's the hot, it's the heart massager. Um, it's just a little pack. There's a little metal disc in here. Is that probably what warms it up? Yeah, it causes a chemical reaction. What you do is you pop that, and it slowly causes a chemical reaction. Oh wait a minute! So this is a you don't have to heat it in the microwave or nothing. No, no. Nope. Um, it causes that chemical reaction. All you do is you massage it a little. Holy it, shit! It heats to 120 degrees instantly. Stays warm for a little over an hour, and then it gets hard. And then you just put it in a pot of boiling water, and it goes back to that liquid Are state. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god, this is actually hot. Yeah. Wow, fucking technology is crazy. So when you want to get this back to liquid, what do you do again? You just put it in a pot of boiling water for 10 minutes. Well, if you guys. That is really freaking cool, and it's really hot. Like it's hot yeah. to the touch. Like th yeah. I would sleep on this, like yeah. on my back like at on your night. Back. Wow, that is really cool. This is okay, guys. Out of everything we've seen so far, for you guys with bad backs and or want to put this somewhere to keep it. I mean, this is just a really cool project. I don't even uh, know how you did that. I'm not going to question it. I think that's cool as hell. Like yeah. I just the whole idea of it's cool. I'm going to be so broke after this show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then you got some cool novelties. I was kind of playing with these earlier. They're like rolling dice, yep. and each one has like different things on it. If you could see, let's see, yeah, let's, let's say I don't know what it says. You can read it at home. And you got different things like blindfold, quickie, uh, different locations, and you can just kind of roll the dice and let's see what I get. I get a quickie and a question mark. I'm not sure what the question mark is. I guess that means wherever you decide. In my Surprise. truck. <laughs> cool. So like little things like this, the lipstick. I mean, they're all great for novelties, uh, Valentine's. You know, just something kind of cool to give out. If you if you know you're gonna have a kind of a cool drinking game, this would be kind of cool. Right. Um, stuff like this is cool just to have in the house for them. Like say you get stormed in or you're camping and you can't do much. It's kind of cool just to have a set of those. Oh, yeah. They seem really fun. Yeah. Um. What have we not gone through? We've done pretty good here lately. I do want to talk about this uh, this cream here, um, okay. the Body Boost. Yes. Now, this is more of like a tightening cream. It's a toning, firming, tightening cream. Um, it lifts loose skin. Um, it's The consistency is toothpa like toothpaste. Now, that can be used for any kind of skin on the body? Any skin, from your head to your toes. You can use it on loose skin underneath your neck, like the crow's, crow's feet. feet, the wrinkles on your forehead, um, cellulite on the back of the legs even. Now, what about like, uh, I mean, would you put this near your vagina? Um, I mean, you could, but not in it, obviously. No, not in it. Never but like, in if you, it. If like you, like some people, kind of like the same thing with the crow's feet or the the, the, the loosening of the outside right. skin. You can yep. kind of tighten that up yes. a little bit. Yep, definitely. Um, so this is something basically you can use pretty much in ninety percent, ninety nine, ninety eight percent of your body, oh, roughly. Yeah. Definitely. And uh, I see. You I personally use this product. Yep. So I'm going to do the best I can by showing the results with a printout here. Uh, eh, let's see. And you can see that pretty, pretty damn well. Eight days later, and her belly button is tight as a button. Q yeah. as a button. What's the right word yeah. I'm trying to say? I don't know. Tight as a button. But is that, that a thing, tight as a button? Tight. I don't think so. I don't. Well, it don't sounded know. funny when I said it. Um, so that's pretty cool. Only eight yeah. days. And, I mean, do you notice it per day, or does it, like, take a day or so, and then all of a sudden you start uh, seeing it? It, I, it did take a couple of days, and then I started seeing it. Um, I was very surprised, because that's before I even became a consultant. Um it's very cool. I mean, I, I sure, and that could be yeah. used for both guys and women. I mean, guys oh, yeah. get crow's feet, guys have uh, wrinkles, yep. and I mean, I can see more women buy it, but I could definitely. I mean, if if it was if if I was if I had like specific spot on my face or anything like that, I would definitely use it. Yeah, uh, it's kind of like a freaking miracle thing. Like it is. You see a lot of people it that is gold in a bottle. Yeah, they come out with stuff and they say it works, but it really doesn't. But this is physical proof. I'm holding physical yes. proof in my hands. That's yep. pretty cool. What's a bottle like that usually go for? It is thirty dollars. And there's a good amount in there. What's, oh yeah. How, how big is that? How many ounces? Um, it's say? six ounces. So for six ounces, you could that would take you months to go through. Like oh, if yeah. you were really like if you just. Were, had a specific spot in your body you wanted to cover. That would literally take months. And for $30, you'd feel the way you want to feel. Uh, yep. And you'd look exactly how you want to look. That'd be really right. cool. Um, what else we got? Let's go down the roundup. I really like this this whip. It's yes. got a little a little heart right there. Look, I can see her through it. I like doing that. Yeah, look at that. It was a perfect <laughs> shot. I'm going to screenshot. It was perfect. Uh, and this is made out of plastic. 
Yep. And I almost want you to whip something with it without rip, whip the wall. Whip the wall. Let's see. I just want to hear that fucker. Oh my god, that fucking yeah. scared the shit out of me. That's awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, this actually came out from uh, Fifty Shades Darker. Yeah, our collection. That's very very cool. And that, and I, and this can both be used for to, for pain. But can you imagine the pleasure of that? Yeah. Just like rolling over stuff. Yeah. Um, go ahead and put a blindfold on. And tickle up the leg with it. And then oh yeah. Smack their chest. It'd be smart if you guys came up with a rounded tip though, so you can use it both ways. Yeah. Hmm. Just an right. idea. Trying to give you guys a little business. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Hmm. So let's see. We've gone through all the dongs, the dildos, the vibrating whatnots, the the massagers, the novelties. Uh, it does look like there might be a couple of creams we haven't hit up on yet. I'm not sure. Okay. Anything yep. specifically? Uh, uh, great head. Absolutely. You offering? Yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> fucking with you. <laughs> um, it does come in different flavors. This is raspberry rose. I didn't have you sign a confidentiality agreement or no. nothing like that or a waiver. No. Fuck, I should get on no. that. I should do that when you first get in the uh, studio, <laughs> not when you leave. <laughs> yeah. um, it's a lubrication a cream that you go ahead and you put in the back of your tongue and it actually numbs the gag reflex to make it more comfortable oh that makes sense for giving head so, yeah, I mean a lot of girls I mean I could never suck a dick because I can't brush my teeth without gagging yeah. so yeah. I could just imagine how it is for some women and if they really want to please their guy yeah. th that'd be a because yep. ladies uh, as much as you guys hate doing it we would much rather have a blowjob 90% yeah. of the time and if you're a good guy you don't fucking beg like a little puppy like i do yeah. like please 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 <laughs> but i think every guy should be woken up with a blowjob at least once a oh week. yeah absolutely. i mean at least once i a agree week. i agree and if we're willing to pay uh however that much costs for that bottle right there to make sure you're you're it's twenty dollars it's well worth a blowjob oh yeah that's where yep. we, i'd pay that every time actually yep. <laughs> go ahead and lay on your back with your head off the, the edge of the bed oh. put a little bit of that you're good pure you're ecstasy good. right there <laughs> uh what else we got anything else Cause I want to get to your website before we run out of time, but I definitely want to make sure we go through everything you brought. Looks okay. like we may have uh, gone through all the creams and sprays. Yeah. Wow. This uh, that's a lot of fun right there. You're leaving all this with me, right? No, I'm joking. <laughs> These are all demos. So yeah. Please don't use them because I need them for my party. Because I. <laughs> Uh, and that we're going to hit that up once we get on the website as well. I do want to hop on this site, so let me see what I got here. Let me turn this screen so you can see what we're going with. Okay. So it's uh, what's the actual website? Uh, the actual website that goes to your personal one? It's www.pureromance backslash Alicia Frawley. All right. And this is the screen that we come to right here. Yes. And let's go down here. So shop with me. We got book a party. Uh, that's something I want to talk about. What exactly, what are the steps and what exactly happens at one of these parties? Um, what happens is you go ahead and you contact me about booking a party. What I do is I let you know what dates I have available. I'm available Sunday through Saturday. Um, mainly evening hours, only because mm. it's the most common time to have a party. Yeah, you don't um, want to have that 9 o'clock, let's talk about dongs uh, conversation. Right, with breakfast sausage. And I'm... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I show up about a half an hour before the party starts. You invite all your girlfriends over, have some drinks, wine, snacks. Um, I set up this whole demo, everything that I showed you today, I set up at my demos. And I go through the catalog, mm -hmm. and our catalog goes from mild to wild products. Oh, that's very cool. Yes. I uh, let's let's check a look at here. So, what, what do you recommend? Starting with the Bath and Beauty. We or? do start with the Bath and Beauty in the catalog. All right. Let's see if I can go to an open page here. So now this uh, it's real simple. Gives you an idea of all the products that you carry. Uh, pricing is right up front, right on there. Uh, I see up the top right. You can sign up to become a member. Actually, log into the actual uh, store. Right. And it's real self-explanatory. You click on, say, let's click on this product right here. Real easy. It's got an add me. Uh, it's got the features, which are cool. You get to learn about what it is, the size. Uh, it even gives you the ingredients for you weirdos that want to try to make this shit at home. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's more for allergies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it even gives you directions, so that's pretty yes. cool, too. So that's real simple. Uh, oh, you can write a review. Yep. Huh, I kind of like that. Let's see. The smell is perfectly feminine without being overbearing at all. It adds a perfect amount of moisture, a fresh bathed skin without leaving you feeling greasy or sticky. Uh, oh, we got this person's name showing, so that's going to be great. They're going to get messages from this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see what we got for massage. There's my favorite little toy right there, the, the heart-shaped, massage-shaped heat pack. Uh, what's this one here? Ah, so there's like a kit here. 
Yes, it does come with two smaller ones, um, and the bullets actually go inside of them, and they vibrate. Very cool. So you guys can kind of just spend some time on here and look. Uh, they got the gloves we just talked about. There's way more sprays on here for you squirters. There's the best one right there, sexy flirt powder. Uh, lubes, that's a big thing. Got to have lube. And you can see what the bottle looks like. You can see the size, information. Uh, click add me to the cart, enhancement creams. And I'm basically just doing a little walkthrough just so you guys see what it looks like at home. Uh, what you should be doing is checking it out yourself right now or after this podcast. Let me get through with my job and then you can do yours, literally. Uh, these Okay, so we pretty much went through these. There's a couple new ones on here we didn't see. Seven speed bullet. Do you really need seven speeds? Yes. It's like asking a guy if yeah. his car should go, you know, 250. <laughs> right. Of course you do. Yeah, real easy, guys. There's my favorite looking one, the purple and chrome. Main attraction. Yeah, it's pretty cool looking. Uh, this one right here reminds me of like, uh, you know, like in the salt water, they have like the growing rocks and shit. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of that. That's kind of yeah. cool. <laughs> See, and see this that, one's got smallpox. Yes. See, that one, <laughs> that one has ruined my entire... I, I cannot watch Monsters, Inc. again. Oh, my, my God. Kids, I can't. <laughs> it is solely... I, they ruined it for me. That my is, kid asked me, Mom, can we watch Monsters? No no, 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 no. Burn that no, freaking tape. No. It mysteriously ended up in the backyard scratched. Um, that is fucking I, I may or may not have used it as a Frisbee to oh try to get rid of God. it. Oh, my God. That is so amazing to me. That just made my it, whole, it's my solely, whole day. It is. It re- <laughs> it's solely is going in your pussy. And you're going to get some, some 30-year-old really cool chick that just loves that movie and has to have a dick <laughs> that looks like him. So that's cool. Uh, let's see. The LOL non-vibrating strap-on dildo. Lots of love. I was wondering what they were laughing at. Yeah. And... <laughs> Now let me ask you a question. I may be wrong, but is this one for prostate because it does have it does tip up, or could it, it be used both? It is both? for both. Um, that actual penis is interchangeable, so you can actually put Mister Dependable in there. Anything gotcha. that has a suction cup, you can. Oh, okay. So is that how it is? That how it, I mean, I see it's got like the actual piping or the yes. the clips, but it actually the suction yep. cup goes right to the base. Yes. Cool, cool. I was just curious about that because it did look like it had that that little up tilt, I guess. Right. And and there's Mr. Dependable, my new hood ornament. Yeah. <laughs> now, we didn't get in any of the anal beads. Uh, there's so many different kinds. Now, this one's they got, like, cool there little is. finger triggers so you can pull it out. Yes. You don't want to get those lost in you there, don't too? Wanna go, you don't want to get anything lost in there. Yeah. I've seen Not enough uh, YouTube videos of trying to get cars and shit out of people's asses. We're a fucked up, sick, amazing America. We <laughs> are. And I'm okay with it. Absolutely. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Oh, there's the bag you were talking about. Yes. So it almost looks like a gift bag or like a, it almost right. looks like you could put your shoes in or like a, your curling iron so people wouldn't even know what it is. Right. And let's see, all kinds of cool stuff here. And there's my, how do I add this to my cart? <laughs> oh, there's, oh, there's more. Yes. The Joyride 10 speed vibrating male masturbation sleeve. I want, I want to like fucking scream. Like that's pretty, <laughs> that's like just, the deluxe model. It is. Um, the only thing with that is with the cord. Um, oh yeah, that can kind of get in can, the way. It can get in the way, but it does vibrate though. It does. It's not so. It's not wireless. It's not. No. Mm. Hmm. If I, guess, I was to recommend one of them, it would be the Playmate. But then I got to do all the work, like always. Jeez, I'm joking. I'm gonna piss off a lot of people <laughs> with this. <laughs> uh, okay, couples. I oh, I'm so into this idea. Let's see what we got here. So a couple repeats because uh, am I the same one? Yep. Okay, here we go. There we go. There's the uh, bed, the bed restraints. I like that. I like how it goes under the bed. The ones we have at home, uh, they attach to the headboard and the baseboard. A, you, you can always see them. Like right. my kids, the one they don't know what the fuck they are. They they probably actually they probably know more shit than I do. But <laughs> um, they they're always shown. So if you have like someone over the house, they're gonna know what they are because they're literally just strapped to you know they're, they're strapped right on the bed post. This right. is kind of cool because you put underneath. You can just tuck and them right in. I kind of like the idea that you're to the side more than head and back because you can really squiggle around a lot more when they're to the headboard right. to the side though i feel like you're fighting yourself now and oh, you're yeah. not damaging your headboard yeah, because it's all connected so if you pull really tight with your left arm your, your right, right arm goes i can't tell it. you how many times i've broken like the wood pegs and shit on the on the beds yep. over the years actually every you know because and i'm not just saying for her i mean i I've, i like getting tied up too uh we just have to use two sets on me um 
So that's cool. I like that feature. Uh, there's a nice tickler whip there. And the cozy cuffs. Yes. <laughs> now, how restrainable are these? They're pretty restrainable. However, a, l- a lot of people don't like those only because they do have the metal cuffs on the inside. Uh, um, so if, if the fuzz does come off, it tends to bite you a little. Well, that's I mean, all some right. people a little like bite's it. okay. Some, pe- some people like it. Uh, now, I'm trying to get the uh, leather cuffs back from our... So that's what 50 I have. Shades Darker. I mean, that's I'm, what lic- I have. I'm licensed armed security, so I bring home my real legit cuffs, and that's just the best right. way to go. I mean, they're, oh, and, yeah. they're, and the new ones are, I mean, they're, they're, there's like a ceramic on it, so it doesn't hurt your body. Right. But for you guys that don't have a pair of really cool cuffs at home, you know, whatever, yeah. that's what you want. <laughs> this uh, was one of the things that piqued my interest when I seen it. Uh, so basically, it's a cock ring with a bullet and the bunny. Yes. How big is that, though? Because for me right now, that looks like, it's, it looks big for be a cock ring but is yes. it actually that big or does that it, part go in the female as well that part um see the only thing with that is a lot of people think that it doesn't stretch to their size because it that picture is actually blown up to show mm. and as you can see with like the the can can over here yeah the beer can it does it does fucking stretch. it does yep so i just wasn't sure how actual long that was because the photo is a little deceiving because I want to right. make sure I pop enough out of there and press her, too. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. No, it's about a one and a half to two inches long. Okay. See, that's not bad. This thing looks like four inches long right, right. now, and it's no. freaking me the hell out. <laughs> yeah, no. But I definitely dig the idea. So it's double. Yeah. It's got two bullets, one for the bottom for the balls and the, and the penis or the yep. testicles to be more legit, whatever. And then it's got uh, the rabbit ears up top. This is something I would totally try because I'm into like anything that, that gets her there quicker, too. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, I'm... Right, I'm we're not like gre- ovens. Yeah, I'm not greedy as fuck, too. I'm not one of those guys that'll just go and then go to bed. But right. I would like to get it done in less than two hours if I could, because, you yeah. know, I got shit to do. Uh, <laughs> let me get back out of there. So the website's real easy to work with. It looks like uh, it's very self-explanatory. You pick the item you want, and... Well, let me move that right there on the wrong screen. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't usually uh, play with a lot of the features like this too much. Usually I have someone doing the computer stuff. And I like these. Yes. I'm a big fan of all that style stuff uh, where it's very see-through, but it's got some kind of a pattern. And if you fuck it up by ripping it off of her, it's just that much more hotter, and it only costs $18, so you're not. Right, and that's also, it has, um, it's crotchless, so. Oh, sweet. Uh, it was yeah, absolutely so she can use it over and over, and I don't have to rip it off. But I am right. one of those guys that I'm, I'm guilty of ripping oh, and yeah. breaking fifty dollars bras, which suck because then I got to buy new ones. But I've just always been a fan of those. If you if you got the body to pull it off, and if you think you, you're comfortable in it, this is another one the, that's more of like a gesture. You can see through it, but you're not yep. completely naked. But any kind of lingerie is great. We talked about that on my daily show today, actually. Uh, I think lingerie is awesome because not every guy wants to just see you walk out naked. I mean, sure, that can turn you on, but it's nice to see something sexy. It's nice to assume what's underneath or imagine what's underneath, right. and then you get the surprise afterwards. Uh, I definitely would uh, recommend them to all relationships. I don't know why enough people... It seems like the people haven't been pushing lingerie as much as they used to back in the day. Right. And I don't know why. That's one thing that I mentioned at my parties. The last thing I mentioned is I want every female to go home, whether it's in a piece of lingerie, just a regular bra, underwear, yeah. booty shorts, whatever. Just go home, feel sexy. Sit yeah. on your couch. Just just and, sit there. And honestly, booty shorts, yogas, you feel... They're, I mean, I'm going by what everyone tells me. They feel fucking amazing. And they they're do. just as sexy, though. Like, they right. really... As long as you feel sexy yourself, 90% of the time, they're going to feel the same way about exactly uh, and we got some sex health here i feel like i'm in school uh okay so the benoit balls the vaginal dilator set now explain me why you would need that and what that exactly is um we do have it for two different reasons um one fisting ah okay um another reason is women that get hysterectomies actually get sewn shut oh and you have to go to the doctors to get stretched back open Okay. So you can actually do that in the comfort of your own home. Wow, that is really cool. That, that's a that's I mean, it's a lot more comfortable than having to go to an office or right. trying to. I mean, just that's I, I wouldn't even want to be in that position. That's a horrible position. That some people have to go through. Right. And at least this way, you can kind of get yourself back to where you're happy again. Uh, exactly. And of course, like every company that's smart as fuck that would sell condoms with their logo on it. Yes. 
uh, years ago when we had, uh, I used to do raves back in the day, mm-hmm. and we had a thing called Hitman Graphics and Hitman Raves and all. Just, just this is fucking fifteen years ago, but we had condoms erected <laughs> 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 that said Hitman gra- Graphics and Hitman uh, Raves, and it would say basically, you know, hit the right spot. It would be right. the, where I had my whatever, yeah. and that was my way to hit on girls. I'd be like, hey, listen, my number's on the back. Uh, give me a call uh, if you want to use it. And I'd give it right. to him. It was just the cheesiest go. fucking douchebag, guinea fucking wannabe, whatever thing I had back in the day. But it just like, it, oh, the word of the day is legs. You know? yeah. <laughs> let's, let's go home and spread the word. Yeah, man. Got any Italian in you? Would you like, like some, some later? <laughs> yeah, all that cheesy shit that worked yep. like a charm for me when I was younger. Oh, yeah. And now what's this? You have a collection. So is this the brands of each each product? or? Um, it's just like I showed you with the Calypso collection. Oh, it's, okay. it's all of those sex toys in one gotcha so for you guys at home uh i'm gonna put a link uh on the youtube for you guys on the radio uh why don't we say the name of the actual site again it's uh pureromance.com forward slash alicia frawley okay glad you knew your name Uh, (laughs) (laughs) oh man all right so that was pretty self-explanatory real easy to work with uh, one thing I do want to say, she's going to offer 25% off your first order if you contact her directly. So as cool as the website is, your first time, go on the website, check out what you want. But if you want to save 25%, which is an amazing deal. I mean, it that's is. you're not going to see that. Most websites are 5 10%. She really wants to make sure you guys get into this. It's a really safe way to have fun at home, to please Definitely. yourself. 25% off with the code Bellionaire. And if you don't know how to spell Bionair, you're watching Life of Bionair. It's on the wall behind her. Yeah. It's on the image to the bottom right. I tag myself with Bionair more than anyone else should ever tag themselves. I kind of like myself a little bit. Uh, and we're going to have you contact her at the email. Let's see if I got it on here. It is prbyalicia at yahoo.com. I'll make sure to post that all over the YouTube, social media, uh, pretty much everywhere this is going to be. For you guys at radio, uh, you should have listened. Anyways, yep, if, you, if they go to my website, my phone number's on there. Um, you can hit me up directly on the cell phone, email. For business purposes only, fellas? Yes, yes. Her boyfriend will kick your ass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, no, I get it all the time. I, I got Pure yeah. Romance by Alicia across the back of my vehicle. I'll be driving down the road. I'll get a text message. Hey, you're pretty hot. I'm a little like, irritated you didn't romance? get that by me, but, you know, I do science too. Well, you know. it... it it was perk of the job. It, it was like, like a year ago. We got mm-hmm. it on like a discount thing. If you gotcha. order through the website, with I get business cards. I, ho- and, I hope it all so. fucking peels off, so you have to go through me now. That's perfect. No, I will so go through you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make sure we work that out. I'm gonna have my kids run outside, or I'm gonna have someone go start peeling the car as there we speak. <laughs> uh, any other social media you want to promote? And a lot of people don't want people really on their social medias. Or any? Are, are you pro Twitter? Do you want anyone knowing that information? Um, I do not do Twitter. I have the Facebook. Um, I have my VIP group on Facebook as well. Oh, so we're going to want to know about that. Uh, I'll put a link to the VIP group. Is it, okay. I mean, is it open? Is it public? Thing? No, it is not. It is closed only because there are some young people on Facebook. I can't allow anybody. So what than I'll 18. do is, do you mind if I tag you your Facebook? That's fine. That's I'll fine. tag your Facebook, and then this way they can, uh, you know, don't just friend request or send her an actual message. Don't be a weirdo. Uh, but if you really want to know about the the twenty five percent off, the private group, uh, any personal co- information you want from her, any questions, maybe about the products we talked about today or any other products, just contact her. She'll be able to work with you. You can see how easy she was working with me. I've never worked. Uh, we never talked about this kind of stuff before. We've hung out. We're friends. I've never personally asked you any kind of questions nope. which was really cool easy to learn uh obviously if you have a party buyer you're going to learn a ton yep. uh now do you bring a lot of stock to those parties i do bring three thousand dollars worth of stock to the parties um also if you book a party with me you get a free product just for booking a party oh, and then ten cool. percent of all the party sales oh so you can actually make a business out of this oh yeah so for you ladies that uh want to do something maybe it'd be cool to do this maybe like once every couple months have your friends over have some food wine have a little bit of fun learn about some new products honestly i can just imagine a lot of you guys laughing and getting and it's got to be right. a fun time to be with your girlfriends i mean just i'm sure it'll be a good time and to be able to get a check at the end i think that's pretty cool uh, and again, I'm going to put all that on social media. Uh, anything you want to, you want to plug any shows coming up, anything important you want to mention? Um, no, but if you, I mean, if you join my team, I mean, you get the discount automatically to where like, I never have to pay full price for this stuff again. And that's the whole reason why I even started this is because I get so much of the product that You're I was a smart like, girl. might as well get the discount. Yeah, and so then I had my first party and I actually put 
four hundred and fifty dollars in my pocket within two hours. Wow. Wow, that much? That's yeah. freaking amazing. That's yeah. more than a week's paycheck for most people. Right. So I'm like, if I could do that just once or twice a month. So now, if they want to be a vendor, do exactly what you do, they can contact you directly, yep. and you can put them in touch of actually them. becoming their own saleswoman or their own right. associate or whatever yep. you call yourself. Uh, consultant. <laughs> a consultant. I was yes. thinking of the word. And uh, they can make a really good income. I'm oh, not yeah. going to have. You, I'm not going to ask you how much you make, but I know you were telling me you definitely make uh, almost a second income. Oh, yeah, definitely. Wow. And I mean, this is part time. Like I said, I have a full time job at a company. Yeah. Um, so this, I just do this on the side just for play. Now money. Do, you, do, you, do you have a lot of clients that you work with? I'm assuming. I, yeah, actually, um, I actually have sold to about mm, 80 coworkers. Wow. So. So, like, really, if you have a full-time job or you have maybe another business or, hell, if you're popular on social media, you could make a ton of money with this product. Oh, yeah, definitely. I definitely. may actually talk to you about maybe doing a Bellioner, uh site or something because, I mean, I, I've got one or two followers, and uh, yeah. I think I could probably push the hell a lot of this. But, yeah. you know, I'll wait and see how you do first. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Not gonna, I'm going to be that guy that's like, uh, I have someone on for a product, and as soon as they're yeah. off, I'm like, yeah, cut that. We're not even going to air this. I'm just going to do my right. own, and <laughs> I don't know what happened. The tape got messed up. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, Alicia, this has been a lot of fun. Yes, thank you for having me. And I definitely want to have you back on again. We'll wait a little while, and maybe, uh, get some, maybe, maybe when you get some new products in. Uh, okay. Maybe we'll see if we can get maybe some customer reviews. I'm going to ask some people that purchase off you maybe to hit us up a little bit. Okay. Uh, guys, go to her website and go to her email. If you want to take advantage of that 25% code, uh, just make sure you reference Bellionaire, and you're going to get 25% off amazing products. And uh, on that note, guys, this is John, the Bellionaire Bellavia. This has been Life of a Bellionaire, and we'll see you next time. 